Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. We're in... I've just finished going through every single one of these combinators one by one to ensure that they have the correct uh, LTN settings for the new trains, with a couple of little exceptions, like I don't care if we deliver a little less sulfuric acid over here for the less. In fact, let me drop this down a little bit. Uh, I don't care if we drop off... Whoops. That's probably fine. I don't care if we're not dropping off 60k sulfuric acid for this last little uh, scrape of uranium, for example. Uh, but yeah, um, we've gone through and updated all of the LTN settings, so we should no longer have L LTN trains with 20% of their cargo wagons just empty. I still have vanilla trains set up for the stuff that goes through the space elevator. Um, I don't really see the need to rush to replace those, and I kind of feel like going and doing some outposting uh, with our spaceship today. Budgie Bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you today? Uh, not too bad. It is terribly humid, though. Not that hot, but terribly humid. Uh, could you please look at the oil pumps around the Spellevator? Um, sure. Uh, right after I just explained, um, I've also gone ahead and removed the decider combinators that we were using for the shared LTN vanilla pickups. Uh, instead, I'm just not putting a train limit or anything on them, and I set the provide stack threshold for LTN uh, fairly high. So if there's any shortage of, for example, uh, beryllium ingots, we're just going to have the vanilla train sitting here picking up all of the beryllium ingots until uh, until it's full, basically. Um, which I think is fine, actually, and it greatly simplifies things. All right, so oil pumps around the space elevator. Do you mean up here? I never actually built those. We can do it now. As you can see from the Power Armor Mark III research, some time has passed as I've been going through all these combinators. Also making a few changes to certain stations and whatnot. Um... Hmm... I guess I'll make this block just for collecting this stuff. And maybe we'll build something here and just have like the output down here. So in that case, I think I'll have our oil pickup down this way. Um, and I'll probably just put the uh, mineral water pickup here as well. I could even make it one station, but I don't think that's good or necessary. While we're at it, can we remove the old power poles? Uh, if only because it makes it easy to see where the middle is here. Thanks, the flashing icons have been doing me in. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so they've got power now already. I didn't even have to add anything. Alright, mission accomplished. We'll just leave them like that. I kid. Uh, this is going to go here. So we have one pump directly from big container into fluid wagon for each fluid wagon. Uh, and I'm going to have the... Uh, the constant combinator down here, so that we can not need any extra entities um, just to bring this uh, wire connection over here. Alright, so this is crude oil. 
And then we need some... Some pipes. Probably like this, more or less. Didn't mean to actually get crude into this yet, though. Um, can we stop that real quick? Let's get a big, a huge storage tank here for a sec. And pump that in there. And I'll put it back in in a moment. Um, but basically, we want it to be like this. We'll have some... You know what, can I just remove this power for a minute? I'll put it back once we're good to go. It's probably going to put crude oil into this, yeah. Because it's already in the machine. Never mind. Um, should I have like a rail going around this? Or something. I can't actually fit rail here either. I think it's better if we just don't bother with rail going through these two um, roundabouts. Which means we don't need this straight rail either. Oh, don't. I should not be stepping on rail even for a nanosecond. The trains are so fast now. Didn't realize I could manually mine cryonite. I guess it makes sense. Fantastic. Uh, and I kind of want to do the same thing over here. Otherwise, it'll bug me ever so slightly. Give me those. No spicy rocks? No spicy rocks. Oh, I believe those are spicy rocks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's the best place to drop off spicy rocks? Up here. Could solve the problem by pumping the oil into a giant container, indeed. Fraser K, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What? Why? 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 Why did I get irradiated there? We may never know. Okay. Um, so I'll probably have underground like this, and like this, and not like that, but rather like this. And that's pretty much it, unless this is a neat fit, which it is. Fantastic. Alright, let's get our power back. We can empty this. And then that's already full. Um, how about we do a bit of this? You get irradiated because when you even destroy it, it must be in your inventory for a tick that you instinctively press A to drop it uh, from your hand when balancing. Okay. Alright, so that goes there. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Not 
much better. Cool. There's our oil. And we may as well do mineral water while we're here. Um, assuming I have the pumps for it, which I don't. Do we have mineral water pump jacks in here? Also, where did I leave construction train? No path. Uh, okay, go over here for a sec. Um, but I don't believe I do have it carrying mineral water pump jacks. Uh, I don't build these very often. How many do we need? Um, I guess I need to, like, plan these and do a ghost would be the easiest way to find out. Is that all of them? We need 16 mineral water pump jacks. Fan... Fantastic. Get in my inventory, please. Uh, I've got 20 something, that's good. 16, indeed. Um, I went past it. And also picked up a random decider combinator that we're not using anymore. Beautiful. Uh, looks like I can just barely fit this where I like. That's nice. I'll have the same settings over here. Um, but this will be called... Mineral Water Provider. And we'll connect it... Like... So. Seems good. Alright. I think I know how we're connecting this one, and this one. Uh, as for the rest, where would be... I think there'd be a good center line down this way. Let's do that. Let's plan it out roughly first. That's going to be pretty straightforward. I can put these together, but then I guess I could move the pylon one tile up. We'll pretend we didn't see that. And then just connect that like so. Just connect that like so. This one should probably come in a bit closer. Let's see why not. And... I kind of want to put these together. the pipe segments and so on. Oh, that could have gone here, couldn't it? Nope. Never mind. Uh, and this goes here. And... This goes here. Should be fine. Can we empty these? Connect like so. Uh, get rid of all of these. And... Like this. It's a little bit clumsy today. Alright, they seem to all be moving. That's 
seems fine. Oh yeah, we should probably prod mod these. Uh, it feels weird that it makes sense to prod module... Um, pump jacks. But it do. This is K2. Oh yeah, these are just fluids. We can park the construction train wherever we like. I won't accidentally pick stuff up. Alright, so let's grab pump jacks. And pump jacks. And prod mods. And make sure you don't leave. That's fine, I guess. And away we go. Looks like we have enough. Beautiful. Off you go. And take me with you. Two in the middle, not pumping? Oh, these two? Because I didn't put a pipe here. In we go. Give me a sec to hydrate. There was a moth trying to steal my water, or rather get drunk by me is more what I am a bit concerned by. Um, alright. Any other little errands we want to do before running off to make our first space elevator-based outpost? Fantastic indeed. Uh, did I pick these up yet? Nope, here we go. I'll be interested to see what kind of uh, cost we're looking at for a 8.85k radius planet for the space elevator. And compared to Hagen, it's going to be like 99.99999% just basic upkeep. The cost of sending the train up and down the elevator is going to be practically nothing. Okay. Let's get back to... Well, I need to figure out what I'm taking with me. Uh, but let's get back to our spaceship with some stuff to pack. Um, I've got 512 stacks in here, so we've got more than a cargo rocket of stuff that we can take with us. Uh, to make the outpost. Can I make a space elevator automatically here? What goes into a space elevator? Space elevator... Um... Well, let's find out the easy way if we have all of that stuff available. We're missing refined concrete and heavy bearing. I believe we brought uh, neither of those things up oh, the spell elevator so far. So let's maybe do something about that. Um, I also don't see anything iridium based. Oh, except for iridium ingots, of course. Hmm. Okay. How many Iridium products are there? Like, uh... Just so I can... I'm not gonna bring up heavy assemblies from the... Um... From the ground, because... Unless something's changed... They only go into mole things. The overall throughput for these is very low... I don't think we're gonna make deep space belts. I really don't. Um, and the bottleneck by far on that is not going to be iridium anyway. Or immersium for that matter. Uh, yeah, heavy assembly goes into 
so few things that um, I don't think it's worth worrying about getting the productivity bonus for it and having a whole block to make them. Hey, Evil Claw. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was I about to double check? Uh, so that just leaves... Um, heavy Girder, Heavy Bearing, Heavy Composite for all of these similar things that I want to bring up. So I'd like to put those probably... Where am I looking? Uh, maybe here? And as for concrete... We did already bring up regular concrete, just not refined concrete. Alright, so I'll make this one... Heavy girder. Uh, I feel like putting heavy girder here. And this will be bearings. We got the two round things next to each other. And then when we do heavy composite, it's going to be here. Uh, because that... Uh, that does... We, we can make heavy composite on the ground. And it does have high throughput-ish. Ooh, what's this? Electric Mining Drill Mark Three. Why would I not just... Oh, Big Mining Drill is a prereq. Mining speed 1.2 per second. It's faster than the Big Drill? Mining area is smaller, though. Can it take more prod modules? Because if it can't, I don't think I would bother. Uh, I have to put it on a resource. Mining drill mark three versus big mining drill. Uh, they've both got five prod modules. I think I prefer to just have the bigger mining drills. Like, I don't care about maximizing the speed of these things. Like, yeah, you can get more, more speed density, uh, more speed and speed density kind of thing with the electric mining drills, but I'd rather just not have to place as many drills and have bigger coverage and stuff. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to make the Mark Three mining drill, unless there's something it's required for, uh, maybe it's required for Naquium or something, but I doubt it. In fact, we can test that, can't we? Yeah. Sulfuric acid, a little bit of electricity... And that works. So I don't see a single reason uh, for my tastes to make the Mark III mining drill. Uh, what else was I trying to figure out? What heavy composite goes into? Is it all just mole stuff? I th or does it go into science? I think it does go into science unless K2 changed it. There it is. Material Science Pack 4. It's definitely definitely going to be worth doing that um, on the ground. So we'll have these three things brought up, and I also need to add refined concrete. Uh, and one of the upshots of the way that I've changed the system for bringing items up the elevator is we don't have to change anything um, at the actual pickup station. Okay, your refined concrete. Um, and then this is refined concrete provider. And I wonder if I should go and increase the provide thresholds on these things, or if 120 is good enough. 
I think 120 is probably good enough. 45 items per second isn't going to push 20 stacks through while, while the train is loading, I don't think. Unless we're talking about, like, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, material testing packs, for example, or something with a stack size of 5. I think all the stack size 5 things are made up in space anyway. Okay, so refined concrete is the thing we need right now, uh, which we can find over here. We find concrete. And large provides special. That should be fine. Um, I think we're already good to just make a train for it. I will replace these with advanced trains eventually, but it's really... I mean, honestly, it's really not that necessary. Then again, we will get better, um, better efficiency. Well... Can I... Can I just put in a space cargo wagon to start with and we'll upgrade the locomotives later so that's going to go up the elevator to the depot to the drop off down the elevator uh, we can actually skip the depot we can skip the depot on the planet side for the ones that are picking up from the planet and vice versa if we're Bringing stuff from up above, we can skip the depot up here. Because we're going to have train limit zero. Uh, uh, we're going to have no train limit on the pickup. Um, there's just always going to be... The, the train's always going to be able to go somewhere. Um, from the elevator, it should be fine. We're looking for full cargo from this one. And... Empty cargo from this one. So I'll have to update the schedules as well when I get around to this. Uh, no stops with this name exist. Are you sure? Refined concrete provider. Oh. How was I able to select it then? Probably because there's one with this name upstairs. Okay. Go pick up from Refined Concrete Provider. And we'll make sure that you're actually able to do your thing. And I'll drink my water too greedily and too deep. Damn, these trains look slow, since I'm used to the uh, space trains. Very nice to see this saturated. elevator you go into the depot and you should find there is not a train limit of zero on this station over you come and that's our refined concrete beautiful 
Uh, what else do we need? I think there were two more things that we potential. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, the bots, the, the default uh, amounts of stuff that the bots deliver for something that gets built so quickly uh, may be a little excessive here. Just a little bit, perhaps. Uh, heavy bearing and heavy girder I need to bring up still as well. Alright, so heavy bearing. It's gonna go here. And change that to everything to make it actually work. Heavy girder will be here. And that's all it takes on this end. And then... Heavy bearing, heavy girder. Uh, I think that's already just set up. I don't have to change anything. That really is a better system than having to have a combinator and set train limits and stuff. Since we're setting it as a higher priority to take things upstairs, uh, I really don't care if if this ever gets slow, we're going to see a train sitting here waiting to be full. Uh, I, I don't think that's a problem. At all. So let's put in another couple of trains. Um, and once again, I want the space cargo wagons, and we're going to say heavy girder, heavy girder, there we go, um, provider and drop off, drop off goes up here, we don't need the depot on the planet side, full cargo, empty cargo, Go downstairs, pick up, go upstairs, go to depot, wait until this has train limit greater than zero, empty cargo, repeat. That seems fine. And we'll do this once more with feeling. Uh, this will be for bearing. And we don't need planet side depot wait till empty wait till full and I think I need to double check that the girder train has those empty full settings it does, that seems fine okay uh, go upstairs, wait at depot empty at drop off go downstairs Fill up. And then go upstairs. Nice. I will have a depot still on the planet side. Um, just because we will have some resources that come downstairs. We've already got scrap uh, for that matter. Since we want these things to be on the planet side to start with. It's more stack efficient that way. Uh, but yeah, we should already see, or be about to see, girders appearing in space. And heavy bearings should be on their way as well. Uh, in fact, I think we can just click on this. No? Where's heavy bearings? Uh, yeah, it looks like as soon as it goes up the elevator, I'll then be able to click on this station and find our train. So that only looks on the one surface. Seems good. 
I should probably put another depot over on the left side. Actually, there's still empty spaces over here, but they're still choosing to go to the right. Uh, I guess... It, I don't know. I guess the cost of turning around speed-wise is more than it costs to go over here. Anyway, that's all of our prerequisites, I believe, to automate uh, space elevator. Um, how long does it take to make this? Like a minute. So I don't think we're going to overshoot our target too much uh, if I do it with the auto crafter. I don't care if there's like one or two space elevators extra in this mall. It's not that big of a deal. Where should I put it, though? I think I'll put it on a, on a new combinator. And if we have it making spaceships and stuff. Actually, how about I put it where we're making rail? That kind of makes sense. Alright, space elevator times one. And we're going to have to add a couple of new prerequisites into uh, this thing. That being the girder. Bearing. And I think we've already got aeroframe poles in here. That's iron stick. That's aeroframe pole. Okay. Uh, heavy girder... And bearing. Cool. Uh, and it's already trying to make it. We also need refined concrete. Which I don't believe I have a re request for here yet. Refined concrete. Indeed. Budgie bomb. Good catch. Um, and I'll put it here... couple of stacks allowed. Uh, and we need to request these things. Uh, I don't think we're going to request any more fluids. Are we already requesting anything? Girder, bearing, refined concrete. I don't think so. Right. Girder, bearing, and refined. Uh, stack size 50, so 5k, or... Uh, 6k? I think the, the stuff that, uh, we're looking for 5,000 of, uh, for... The stuff that is stack size 50, I think I should bump it up from 5k to 6, now that we've got the larger trains. Um, I don't want it waiting until we have precisely run out entirely of a resource before it's delivered, especially because there is a possibility of that just getting jammed in some places. I think. Alright, so these two are going to be 6k, and refined concrete is going to be... 11. Uh, and I guess I want to bump up all of these 9,000s to a bit over 10k. Advanced circuits, um, uh, Doesn't that make it so that 20,000 is one train? Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to need to increase those requests as well. So everything that says 17k needs to be like 21k. Um, 
1k is exactly 100 stacks. Let's bump that up a bit. And... That's all I have in K. Um, and I think we're almost done here. That should ensure that the trains bring stuff before we run out. Hey, Rayclaw. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Budgie Bum 1, 2, and 3 as well. Okay. And I believe there was a uh, name in base that I didn't quite... A, whoops. Uh, didn't whoops. quite get around to yesterday. Let me just bring those up. We got Thonian. Thonian greater than elevator. Is he saying he wants it at the top of the elevator, or... He's saying he's better than elevator. What oh, Thonian is. Um, I'm not sure. Or is it Thonian arrow elevator? That might be it. Thonian. Yes. Uh, and then we've got Bachibum times three. Flexing the points. Uh, and then we've got Rayclaw. Ray one claw. Could do another five names if I wanted. Oh no. Um, where does Rayclaw fit cozily? And Budgie Bum times three. Uh, how about over here? Okay, mission accomplished. Now then, uh, did we get our spell elevators? I think we did. There's a pair of space elevators. Very, very nice. Don't have to worry about getting a bunch of crap together when I, when I need those uh, built. Could you put me out in space like that Tesla floating forever? <laughs> Zaxxon? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And I am the sky. Welcome also. Uh, can I... Let me, let me find out. I don't think I can place... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't place text plates just floating in space, right? I'm pretty sure it has to be on some scaffolding or some some fancy scaffolding. But we'll, we can try. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. I love this. Okay. So we're going for... Zaxxon? Uh, I guess I could throw together a RoboPort. You know what? Just so that we don't have to have it, like, sticking out. I might just hijack this little spot here. Um, and we'll put some passive provider. Or it should be a storage chest, actually, because sometimes they'll want to come back. Uh, a bunch of construction bots. We'll grab all the small text plates that we've got from here. 
Do we have logi bots here? We don't. They're not going to steal from my uh, from my trash slots. Why is there a decider combinator in here, though? Whoops. All right, that should be enough. I'm, I'm sure that's more than enough for quite a while, or probably the entire playthrough. Uh, cool. So we should be able to remotely... Uh, edit this stuff. Budgie bum in space, okie dokie. Budgie bum. Fantastic. It, it's so much cleaner than on the ground, isn't it? That looks nice. Okay. Uh, so I need to, I need to put together a shopping list, uh, that we're going to take with us with the spaceship. I was thinking of putting more laser turrets on this thing as well, because the calculations that we made for how much power it can support, um, basically when the ion engine is off, we've got like 4.3 megawatts. Uh, which can run a single laser turret continuously, but we don't need to run a laser turret continuously. Um, we need bursts of quite a bit of DPS for the most part, especially considering we're not going to go very fast just to be safe. I'm not risking our one spaceship. I don't, I don't know if there would be a way to get it back if the walls break um, when it's on an automatic journey. So I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking we probably can go like three laser turrets and the gun coats... Uh, the gun turrets can just be kind of like backup. Um, I'll just check that that didn't like somehow give us more hull stress. No. He is killing rocks, indeed. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, do I not have... Oh, oh, right, I dropped off construction pods. Of course. Uh, I don't think I have a way to pick these up without one scaffolding in my inventory. Alright. Um, give me a few construction bots, please. So what's the bare minimum? We're basically going to be able to design this outpost just like we would a late game outpost. Um, so we're going to have a space elevator. Um, the ship is going to deliver cable. Sean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Better call Kevin Hart. What? Keeps giving us the asteroid eyebrow? The asteroid eyebrow. Um... Yeah, I want to program it to deliver some space cable. Um, but to do that without, like, a dedicated chest or just... I could just do one dedicated stack, potentially. That's only 20, though. And considering our space elevator on Hagen, which has radius uh, less than half of what this one's going to be. Part cost is 3.2146 per minute minimum. Um, and I think it was over 4k when I experimented with a something close to this Nalvis. 
like 5700 radius. So I don't think it's going to scale one to one or anything. Um, I don't think it's going to cost like double the parts per minute. But let's pretend it will to err on the safe side. Let's say it costs seven parts per minute. Um, that would mean one stack of cables would be consumed every minute. The ship takes like five minutes, let's say, to safely get there. Uh, call it 10 minutes to go there and back, including loading. So I don't think bringing like one stack of it at a time would even be a solution. Um, so I'll probably set up... Uh, I'll probably set up a... Receiver here. Gonna need some scaffolding for that. Which apparently I did have some. Let's just get the construction train to visit. Wait till empty. Much better. Uh, I don't suppose you have... You know, I did have the construction train carrying uh, signal receivers earlier, but someone convinced me it wasn't needed. And to be fair, they're kind of right. Okay, so this channel is going to be Muir. Uh, let's just call it Muir Cables. Uh, am I going to report how many cables we have? Or maybe just how many cables we'd like to load into here? Um, am I going to set requests? Probably move this down here. I also need to do some automation for the actual ship itself. Um, what conditions do I want to be met for the ship to leave? Probably that it's got fuel maxed out. And do we have a little separate robo network here? We do. So even though this will be set requests, we'll be able to calculate how much is in uh, the buffer chest. Um, I'll do a drop off up here for the cables. Can I actually pick those up? I can. Um, I'll just do probably a short train, should be fine. Then again, why not? Why not make it a long one? This goes here. This goes here, and we're going to have a standard requester looking for uh, cables, space elevator cable. Treat yourself, make it a long one, indeed. I mean, I may as well minimize the number of trips needed for this, right? Especially when the stack size is so small. Uh, and we're just going to go for... One train load. So if there's anything in these containers, uh, a train won't be summoned. Cable requester. 
uh, and that should generate a delivery pretty much immediately. There it goes. Neom. Alright, so I don't really want to move the Roboports. I think I'll just put a... Well, if I'm going to belt it, I may as well put it down here so that loading will be as quick as possible. Uh, that's unfortunate. I could put, put a little bit extra scaffolding here. There isn't really a middle tile. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is... Belt all the cables straight down this way. That was wrong. There we go. Perfect. Considering that each uh, each tile of belt holds eight cables as well, this is actually a not insignificant number of stacks of cable on the belt. Uh, but yeah, we're basically just going to put all the space elevator cables that the um, logistic network is going to be aware of is in here, not to mention in the buffer chest. We're going to measure uh, what's in the robot network minus what's in this chest, and that way we know what's in here. Uh, and we can do something similar to deduce when all of the uh, when all of the core fragments have been picked up. All right, so. I think for the moment, I'll just simulate... Well, I don't even need to. I was going to say I'll simulate the outpost telling us that it's got no cables, but a, a null signal from this is exactly the equivalent of that. So the outpost has no cables. Uh, we would like the outpost to have many cables. Um... It, I'm sure it's overkill, but I think I prefer the overkill. Uh, why don't we have a, a warehouse on the other hand, end for the cables? So 512 stacks times 20. We could round it down to 10,000. So we're looking for 10,000 cable. Uh, minus whatever the outpost is telling us it's already got. So we'll do... I could do each, but I think instead I'll just say cable times negative one. Output cable. Just in case we want to use the signal transmission for anything else. Like, for example, uh, media defenses. That would probably be a good idea. Um, I could probably make this drop-off used for media defense ammo as well. Do we have media defense ammo, like, in the rail network up here? I don't think so. Uh, not yet. In fact, there's none in storage because I'm doing that on the ground right now. Makes a lot more sense with the infrastructure that we've got to do media defenses up here. Um, but I think since we can't get prod bonuses when we make the ammo, we'll certainly probably make the ammo in space. Well, let's see. We get 10% of a stack plus 5 plus 5, so like 20% of one stack makes one ammo, and it stacks to 20. Uh, so 20 times 20. 
divided by 100. It's 400 percent. Yeah, yeah. It's four times more stack efficient to bring up the components, um, which is super convenient as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to make? I think I will also, while I'm at it, make some media defenses up here, installations. Um, make sure we have 12. It'll overshoot the target, but that's fine. Uh, and then ammo. We've got a system to offer anything that we get... Oh, here it is. I thought I remembered adding these signals to one of these pickup stations. And then earlier today, I saw it was missing from the mall downstairs. That's why, because I did it up here. Anyway, um... Oh, I kind of turned this off for some reason. I had a provide stack threshold of 1 by default, I think. Would it be easier to make a separate build for the ammo? I don't think that's really necessary. But why did I turn this station off? I wonder. What kind of delivery is it going to generate? Or maybe it was just because I had like literally two trains for a while. And I didn't want them making those deliveries just yet. Um, okay. Well, as long as we don't have problems with that, I can set that as low as I like. Uh, we're gonna make media defense installation ammo. And I'll go for, like... Let's go for 50 stacks. Um... And are we missing any prerequisites? We're missing batteries. And I believe we'll already have everything we need for the actual ammo. Except batteries, apparently. We've got 8,000 batteries, so they're just not in this container yet. Right. Battery. 200... And allow a couple of sticks. So that's making ammo, that's making installations. Fantastic. Um, I would have to allow short trains to drop off here, actually, if I'm going to make it work that way. And that means the uh, discharged batteries will end up in here sometimes, and I don't want that. Hmm. Oh, is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, I did build a system to allow... Anything that the logistic network has 150 stacks of, we can offer to the rail network. Um, that's fine. I'll just make 150 stacks of, uh, of ammo here. I don't particularly mind that. I'll put some storage chests or buffer chests with precisely... Oh, we only need like four of them, actually. Uh, allowed to hold on to ammo. Well, I think if we have any ammo already, it's going to be stored somewhere else. This would probably work if... if I got rid of all the ammo, but maybe I should just make it buffer chests. Do 
20 times 48 uh, is 960. I should have known that. Um, so when the train does come for this stuff, it'll be delivered very, very quickly. Uh, construction train, you can return. It's fine. Alright, so how much ammo do we have? Uh, 300 and... It's hard to tell because the numbers fluctuate because the bots pick stuff up. But we're getting close to 400 already. Out of, what was it, 3,000 that I need to trigger a pickup automatically? Um, so what I want to do is basically... Maybe I will use each. Because I can't see myself... Well, okay, I'll set it up on this end without each in case I change my mind about what signals I'm going to send. Um, but we're just going to go... Get the negative of how much we've already got stored at the other end. Um, and have a positive number for how much we want to have stored at the orbital outpost. Um, I don't think we need a whole warehouse full of ammo. Probably like 200 should be more than enough, especially because it's such a short trip. Then again, what happens if we're saturated on copper, on core fragments? Uh, the ship com comes back here, waits, and does not empty itself of core fragments. And doesn't deliver this maintenance stuff. I guess that's just all the more reason to have a large buffer of of stuff that the outposts need. But maybe I should design it with separate ships to deliver these things. This is kind of a practice run for what I want to be able to do for the late game. Yeah, uh, I kind of don't like the idea that if we, uh, if the flow of resources stops, like if we don't need it for a while, we stop sending the maintenance stuff. Uh, I might just set up a separate ship or, we could have just one or two ships that do this. Uh, ha have a specific ship to deliver cables and ammo and stuff. But for now, we've obviously just got the one. I don't think we're going to be having the problem of not consuming copper anytime soon, though. Most likely. I could also set delivery cannons. Um, I think we can send cables with those, but not ammo. We'd have to send all the stuff to make the ammo. Maybe not the worst idea to send them my cannon, though. Kind of wasteful, though, as well. Okay. So I'll say, like, a thousand cable... Ten thousand cable? That's a lot. That, that really is a lot, even considering how easily 
we've been making it. We don't have 10,000 cable here. Um, let's make it like 2,000. I'm sure that's more than enough. And... 500 ammo? I don't know why I put that on two separate combinators. Alright, so this is what we're going to use to set requests. We're going to subtract the amount we've already got. If it's negative, that won't be a problem. It'll just not set the requests. Um, and separately, we'll need to read how much of this stuff we've already got. Uh, in order to... I should move that back a tile. And on this side we'll do the, um... the ammo. Can I get some scaffolding in my inventory? That's not working, is it? Because construction train. Wait here somewhat indefinitely. Cool. And then up here we're gonna have a filtered ammo. And we're going to request ammo here. Just precisely one train load. 20, 100. Uh, so once this has like 3k, uh, which is a little ways off yet, it should automatically deliver. Are we making the ammo as fast as we can? Pretty much. We're bottlenecked on the inserters. That should be more than fast enough overall. Okay. So on the green wire here, we're measuring how much ion stream we've got. Uh, we could use the green and or red wire to set requests. Um, if we connect green wire like so, we're going to set requests and fill this up with spellvator cables rather quickly faster than the belt can keep up with, actually. That's the power of bots at short range. And we've already got our 2,000. Or, yeah, 1.9k. How is it 1.9k? Did I pick up some cables? Where did the 10 cables go? Oh, here they are. Uh, and as for ammo, we're still trying to put in 500, which is going to be a lot less than the number of available stacks. Um, so we don't need any of that kind of smarts to check. Oh, we, we kind of do, actually. Um, we're going to go for... Reading what's in this chest, times negative one, plus what's in the robot network, and that's going to give us how much is in here, 2,000. Oh, 
Although, do we really need to... Yeah, probably. So this should equal this, basically. Before this launches, if we want to make sure we wait till that's loaded. Um, I could do the unloader over here, I guess. Um, I think just a request a chest down below should be fine. And we need some LTN stuff. Oops. Extended pickup. I'll probably actually use a vanilla train to pick this up because it's going to go down the uh, spell elevator. In fact, yeah, I can't imagine picking this up with a LTN train, to be honest. I don't see why I would process it uh, without prod modules. So we'll just do it with a vanilla stop. And... We don't need to control... Um, we don't need to control the train limit on this end. Proper core fragment. Going to vanilla train. Symbolize that with a vanilla train stop. Uh, yeah, we can basically just belt this straight in. But I want the bot's journey to be as short as possible ish. Let's put this on the other side of that door. Or fragment. Uh, proper. What just took damage? I bet I know. But it was on Nalvis. And from a meteor. There it is. I wonder how long it would take for the whole base to be completely obliterated. Probably literally years or something. Alright. So we're just going to unconditionally take... Uh, uh, take copper core fragments from this chest and belt it down this way. No need to decommission Nalvis, it'll happen naturally, <laughs> indeed. I mean, I will go back to Nalvis um, to get a supply of just regular core fragments, but I'm just not that worried about it yet. Uh, let's do a space splitter and that's not gonna look very neat no matter what I do is it okay. Is this thing facing the right way? Looks like it is. Feels weird to not even need a circuit wire on this. Okay. So our launch conditions are going to be... Uh, number one, copper core fragments detected in robot network equals zero. signal one. Uh, number two, ion stream is, well, how much? Ion stream is greater than 19k is probably fine, I guess. 
since this will never be perfectly full. I can actually find out exactly how full it is. Uh, 9,999.89. That'd take forever, though, for the pump, because it gets slower and slower. Um, let's just say over 19,000. That's more than 95% full. Uh, copper core fragments must be empty. Iron stream must be full. Um... I need to determine right here. I, I need to compare how much cable is in this container compared to how much we're trying to put into the container. So on this green wire we've got how much we're trying to put in, uh, and on this green wire here we've got how much is actually in. Um, but I'd have to convert it to a different signal type to compare it. Do I want to go to that much trouble? I'd have to do it separately with uh, media defense installation ammo. What I could do instead is have these two conditions. Fuel must be full. Copper core fragments must be empty. And bots have stopped moving. Um, the only downside of that is if for some reason we're not getting cable for, uh, or ammo, the bots aren't going to be putting them in, uh, obviously. But if, we, if we're not keeping up with our cable and ammo production, we've got other problems. Like, checking for that isn't going to solve it, right? It isn't going to prevent that from being an issue. So, so I think on this end, we don't have to do any math to determine what's in here. We only have to make sure there's no copper core fragments left. Lol, snap. If you aren't getting ammo, then you have bigger problems, exactly. Um, so yeah, I think instead what we'll do is uh, read contents. Or oh, not contents. Uh, read robot statistics. Uh, we don't have any construction bots here, do we? It's just logistic bots. So we can ignore that. And x uh, total minus available if that is equal to zero. If y minus x equals zero, uh, then we know... Oh, I need an arithmetic combinator. Uh, if y minus x total minus available uh, output logibots, I guess. Uh, and we're just going to say if logibots equals zero. Not total equals available? What? Uh, total equals available. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would, that would only be true if there's no bots available, right? Uh, in that case, I could use the Decider Combinator. Uh, that's a little bit simpler. Right? Uh, if... If X equals Y... If X equals Y... Then output... Green signal. And then we say if green equals 3... Uh, output launch signal. Uh, 
Uh, spaceship launch. That seems pretty good to me. Um, so where am I going to put this to make it look good? Um, thinking of these three just facing down like this. And does that all just connect that way? I think it does. Um, I should be able to see what's on the wire like this. So we've got our... The amount we're asking for... For those two resources, we've got X and Y, we've got Iron Stream, uh, and we've got the contents of the robot network. I need to do both of those. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. We're not putting the used life support canisters in there. Um, I need to read logistic network contents. to get the copper core fragment information. Um, and I think I need to keep it separate from this one. So probably just read from uh, that RoboPort, I think. Why separate? Because uh, re I need to read logistic network contents and I need to read robot statistics. Uh, and if I read the logistic network contents and it's connected to set requests over here, uh, we're going to get random stuff thrown into this buffer warehouse. That's why. Okay, um, so that green signal needs to go over there somehow. Can I... Oh god, my inventory. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Pick those up. Pick a dollies, this thing over here, perhaps? That's looking a little bit tacky. It does reach, just barely. I could put an arbitrary pylon over here just to reach the wire across, I guess. But let's just get it all working first. So, this condition is already met. Um, let's just disable this until we're ready. Input signals to green, because I haven't reconnected this yet. There we go, input signals three green. So there's no copper core fragments in the robot network. There's plenty of fuel, and all logistic bots are asleep. So our conditions have been met. So it's trying to launch our ship at the moment. Uh, looks like... How did you end up with green circuits? What? Um, 
I guess I'll have to add a little something to remove whatever's not supposed to be. Um, in the train here? Set filters, blacklist, stack size 1. And same thing over here. Okay, there's our ammo. I'm a little surprised we've already produced that much, but that's that also explains why it wasn't delivered yet. Uh, and I haven't put... Oh, well that would probably help. Uh, <laughs> if this actually connected, that would probably be an improvement. Um, could we perhaps put that cable back in there for a sec? Switch this to ammo. Uh, and then turn this into cable. Move it over one. This can go here. And this can go here. Fantastic. There's our ammo going in. Uh, so we, we have bots in motion, therefore this condition is not met. And now we're good to go. Nice. Very cool. Um, may as well send the construction train back, I think. Uh, we need to set a destination as well. That is Muir Orbit. Automation signal is Planet Orbit 1174. Planet Orbit... 1174 and uh, I should be right to just always have that connected. I think I like this better. And as is tradition, I'll have the red wire connected to the spaceship console input. Um, I can just barely piggyback off of this Holmium accumulator without adding any more cables or something. It might be okay if I connected it to the buffer warehouse, considering the signals we'll be sending, but I'd rather not mess with it. Uh, so yeah, that I believe that's it. No copper core fragments detected in robot network. Bots are not moving. Fuel is full. If all three of those conditions are met, launch spaceship. And it's already got its destination set to Muir orbit. Nice. Uh, now, we need, now we just need to do our shopping list for the stuff we're going to take to set up um, set up our outpost. Obviously, we're going to need some rail and space rail. Um, we're going to need a space elevator. Where did we leave it? Fantastic. May as well just shove that in there. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of solar panels. Mm, probably quite a few more than I can comfortably carry right this instant. Let me just empty my inventory for a sec. Give those back. And the rail... Well, actually, no. I'll just 
put everything in here until... Uh, until I've moved the solar panels, because they have a pretty low stack size. Is there a limit in distance for where you can use the space elevator? Uh, what do you mean by a limit in distance? Also, where are our multi-spectral mirrors? Where's our chemical gel? Oh, did I just never connect the chemical gel properly? That's probably it. You should take life support, indeed. Well, I can just sit in the... I've got a lot of life support. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> uh... I see what you mean. But yeah, I can actually just sit in the spaceship and not lose life support. Alright. There's flat solar panels properly automated again. So apparently we don't have that many flat solar panels to take with us right now. Uh, we definitely want to take some space rail, some scaffolding... Uh, some train stops. Well, probably don't need ten. Actually, we're going to need a few train stops for picking up the core fragments, right? So we'll take some bulk rail loaders. Uh, obviously we'll need some signals. Although, I think I want to go for a more of a bare-bones rail network this time. Um, we're going to need some space belt. We might not actually need the space belt. We're going to need a signal transmitter. Definitely need some roboports. I've already got some, though. Um, how are we going to fuel our trains? That's something I hadn't thought of. I think for the lowest, um, uh, the least hassle to keep our trains fueled, it's gotta be... Uh, it's got to be liquid, uh, solid rocket fuel, or some kind of fuel that doesn't output something. Because if we do the battery trains... For one thing, I think that kind of speed is really unnecessary. Uh, for just a few trains picking up core fragments, although I guess it's going to be more UPS friendly. But if we have to take batteries, then we either need to refurbish them on the spot, which is going to be more of a hassle, or we have to occasionally bring back some uh, empty batteries, or and or no, just empty batteries. Rug modules. Uh, we're only going to set up uh, coal mining. Old train in use. Lol. What's lull about it? They only go between a planet and that planet's orbit. Indeed. I am Sark, Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again also. The build train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, the cargo wagons, unfortunately... The vehicle roboports and stuff just don't work unless the train is on manual. I don't know why. Uh, the other thing is just saving the hassle of dealing with the um, the battery recycling here. But yeah, I I can't really decide right now whether I want my outpost trains to run on batteries. We have to deal with the... I mean, obviously the battery recharging isn't a problem. Uh, it's just that 
1% of the time we get destroyed batteries that we'll have to bring back. I could always just make sure I wait until we get a whole stack of destroyed batteries um, before setting a request in the warehouse in the in the spaceship and we'll bring those back and we'll just sort them uh, when they come back here um, and we'll have another pickup station for destroyed batteries that's actually pretty easy I think it's probably easier than either making fuel on the planet or especially if it's waterless uh, I think that's easier than either making fuel for the trains on the planet or constantly sending fuel. Because the number of items that we have to send back and forth if we use the batteries is actually extremely low over time. So as much as it's a bit more challenging logistically, uh, I think I think the battery trains are the way to go here. They're actually overall just kind of easier, for lack of a better way to put it. So this will be an LTN uh, pickup station. Or destroyed batteries. And we'll just have the one uh, We'll just have the short wagon for that because the throughput for this is going to be extremely low. Okay. And I might even just make it like stack size one. We need to keep track of how many batteries are at the destination as well. So that's going to be one more thing like this. We'll probably end up doing each for this, but I'm keeping my options open. Uh... If we assume that we're only going to have one locomotive for each outpost... Didn't know we had these symbols. Uh, then we probably only need, like, 60... Well, 60 times 2. We'd need, like, two stacks. Two stacks per train that we might have. And I don't think we need our usual depot. Um... Then again, I don't know what I'm going to do bothering with a smaller one. I could... Uh, if we have just one of these on each outpost, I think that's probably maybe fine. But I really do like the idea of ending up with the smallest possible blue, uh, blueprint. But what I was looking for there was... Not blueprint. Uh, footprint. Smallest possible footprint. Throughput for this is going to be really, really small and only occasional, so I don't mind uh, if the bots have to travel this far. I mean, technically, it will keep... Uh, our train from leaving for slightly longer. But it's not even going to be very often that we pick up even one stack. On the other hand, I could put it up here and make that very short. Anyway, this is going to be destroyed. Batteries. Probably the amount of time it takes to refuel... It's going to be longer than this anyway, now that I think about it. Alright, so this is standard pickup. 
Uh, I could wait for an entire cargo wagon full. But I don't think we're going to have that many batteries. I, I, I don't want to, like, saturate a cargo wagon full of batteries for each outpost. That's just really unnecessary and kind of expensive. Uh, I think we'll just pick up from here whenever we get, like, a stack or two... About one stack. Uh, and I need to send 60 batteries per train that we might have. I don't know exactly how many um, whole mining drills I want to set up on a large planet. I'm thinking like... 25 maximum? Uh, let's scan and see exactly how far we'd have to go for that. Can I actually search this planet and see... yeah, we, we can see two so far. That's perfect. Now we can see three, and we can confirm that very, very easily. I'm honestly thinking, like, two or three trains is going to be more than enough to keep up with the number of uh, uh, core miners that I'm going to want to put down. Six stacks is in the amount for one full train? Uh, bottleneck would be loading the trains. Oh, I was talking about the batteries. So, for discharged batteries, it's one stack for one locomotive. Actually, I forgot that for a second. It's when they're charged that it's three stacks for one locomotive. So, really, we just need two stacks. I mean, we don't really need that, but it's kind of super safe. Uh, two stacks of batteries per train that we're going to have that we need to send uh, and we should refresh it to make sure we've always got like I don't know, a couple of stacks spare so I think it'll be pretty much pretty safely overkill if we maintain about 10 stacks of batteries on each planet. I'm also going to have to count... Oh, wow. I, d hmm. I think I'll do a robot-based system for the depots on the planets so that we can easily keep track of exactly how many uh, of each type of battery we've got. Um, because I need to add them up. I need to add up the... Uh, the charged batteries and the discharged batteries. And I guess we'll just not be counting the ones that are in the trains because we can't. So we'll just be trying to maintain a certain count of excess batteries, which if we just set that to like a stack or two, um, that's probably fine. So, so far we've got five. Um, I imagine by the time we've got 25, we're not going to be covering that much ground. So we're not going to need that many trains. You can... Um, fill the entire planet with coal mining drills, but like... You get diminishing returns. Uh, so I think we're better off in a number of ways. Just having more outposts. Especially because late game, they're all going to be the same distance apart. Looks like you might need some landfill. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks that way. Alright, I guess I'll leave this running for a bit. Try not to forget. 
Um, I'll grab some more solar panels. I mean, if we have to make multiple trips to make this outpost, so be it. What's the problem now? Holmium plate. Um, are we requesting Holmium plate? Yes, we are. Let's bump up our thresholds here. I'm surprised we don't have Holmium at all. Really? Uh, we've got Holmium ingots here. What's going on? Did I just not configure it right? This wire is disconnected. Well, there's your problem. That means we've probably got plenty of Holmium. Bonk indeed. Bump up, you made it ten stacks. Um... I mean, a stack of batteries goes a long way. I think it's probably fine. There we go. We're actually converting those to plates surprisingly quickly. Well, we're going to need uh, 120 stacks to appear here before the train delivery is triggered. And we're going to need those for the flat solar panels. So I guess this is all the flat solar panels we're going to be taking for the moment. Uh, how many do we have? 587? That's probably not that bad. How many is over here? Oh, I can't tell. Uh, each block, give or take, is over 50. Not batteries, the stack threshold at solar panels. Stack threshold at solar panels. Um, request stack threshold 10. That's not going to cut it. Good catch, thank you. Fantastic. Um, how much power does the space elevator need just to exist? Uh, 5 megawatts, I guess. Solar power here is 443 kilowatts. So like 10 of these. Because Muir is a bit better on the solar. 35% as opposed to 22. That's like 50% better. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have any trouble setting up our outpost, at least to get it started. Uh, even with what we've got already. Um, power poles, I've got those in my inventory chest here, which is looking rather full. Um, let's get some scaffolding rail in here. Um, we only need, like, a couple of rail unloaders, I think. Definitely some extra loaders. Can I pick this up now? Not quite. Um, I shouldn't really be carrying regular belt up in space. Fantastic. No need to take the basic trains, this is true. I mean, it's a very short trip, I don't... I'm not gonna lose sleep if we have to make an extra trip or two. We're sort of figuring this one out as we go. And it's gonna be kind of like a prototype for our future outposts. Uh, what was this gonna be again? Oh yeah, batteries. Power pack. Discharged power packs.
And we should be able... We've got 320 stacks here. So as long as we're limited to those three items... Um... Hmm. This is the part where I wish I could have different thresholds for different items on the same... Uh, on the same requester station. Oh well. Uh, 1600. Do we have one train load of these available right now? Oh, that's short trains only. Oh no. Um... Maybe I should have made this a short train only drop off. It's not too late. That makes a ton of sense, actually. Drop these by 50%. Actually, yeah, that's fine. And get rid of this. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Give me some space rail, please. Why is there no more space rail? Because there's no more energy catalog. Because uh, I think energy catalog was semi-automatic. Because I'm... Occasionally picking it up from here. I could be wrong about that. But I don't think I am. Let's go grab some energy catalogs then. Um, I might have to do something about this long train that was summoned right before... Right before I changed the settings. Here come out batteries. Would be plenty of room. All right, energy catalog. You say. Got six. We've got four. That's not a whole lot. Um, I guess it'll have to do for now. L puncher. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. A bit more space rail. I, I really don't think we need that much. We need more regular rail, if anything. So, the copper core fragments are going to come up from the ground. Go to a drop-off. I guess we could have the depot in space. There's really no need to have... ...to have to take the batteries down to the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're basically just going to have space elevator, depot, and a block kind of like this, but for drop uh, for putting copper core fragments into the ship and taking everything else out. Cuz every train load of copper core fragments that's picked up is going to have to come up through the space elevator anyway. So the train may as well go down the elevator, pick up the core fragments, and then come back. We're not going to need any LTN stations at all, I think. We've got Power Armor Mark III, that's cool. What do I need for it? Oh, that's easy. 25 Iridium Plate, 25 Energy Conduit. Energy Conduit... 
We've got 10 over here and 28 over here. Iridium plate. That's iron. I imagine we have some iridium plate. I have ingots here. Alright, I know where to get plate. Still need a depot on the ground, just no power packs required. Uh, why would I need a depot on the ground? Also, where am I going? Here we go. Surface scan project, uh, project? Progress. Biotonics, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here we go, Iridium Plate. Uh, and I can already handcraft. Oh god, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's too much, too much Uranium. Oh no. Uh, help. 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 I guess I'll just wait till the power armor's done handcrafting. And put those back in. You don't see stations from other surfaces. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, 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 they can't tell. Well, hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll have something like a depot on the ground. It just won't be where we put the batteries in. Uh, okay, one, two, three, I guess. Oh god, why? And we can split those stacks a bit. That should be fine. It's fine, we're only mostly dead, don't worry about it. Um, so what do we have here? Inventory size bonus is the same now, that's good. And we have bigger... We have no built-in thruster suit or life support, but we have bigger power armor capacity. Very good. Let's put some shields in. A laser. I should make another portable nuclear reactor. And I think with the four portable nuclears, we can actually support just one tier three personal SMG without stopping. Isn't that nice? A depot only needs to be a simple train stop, nothing extravagant, yes. Actually, no, I don't think we do. Well, if I sent information up via, like, signal transmitters or wire connected through the space elevator, um, I could avoid needing that depot that way. But there's really no need, uh, no reason to. Alright, let's get back to it. Can I make better jetpacks yet? No, these are the best ones. Should I make a sniper laser defense as well? Max consumption 5.4, so if they both activate at the same time, uh, it's going to be more than my power can handle. What if I did a, like, basic sniper one? Oh, this is actually 7.2. Range is 30. And the range on this one is 20. I think it's, we can just ignore it now. Okay. Where was I? Good question. 
Wait, why do I have crushed falcon? Well, it's a problem for another time. Uh, so we've got batteries now. Um, we'll want to do something similar up here. Except... We're not going to have to worry as much about making sure the bots can load it quickly. Um, because... The, th the overall throughput of this is going to be very small. Even so... Oh, it picked the right resource. Discharged batteries. Fantastic. And I want this over here. Um, I guess I could have the cables jump down like this. And I need a passive provider. And that's our cables. I mean, batteries. Um, and I think I did set it up so that... Oh, wait. I should, I should just limit this to, like, one stack, actually. Because uh, the amount that is being delivered here is already kind of excessive. I th think we can just leave it like that. That's fine. Okay, so battery times negative one. Um, I think we're about ready to go. Oh, did we put batteries in here? We did not. Uh, discharged power pack. So we want, like, this will be on top of what's in the trains already. If we have, like, five stacks, I think that's going to be overkill to make sure we don't run out of these. That should be fine. Which means it's really overkill how much we're delivering here. Maybe I should have a whole other train stop when I do this in future so we can have just like request stack threshold as like two. Because the overall throughput is going to be so slow. And this, this represents a lot of sulfuric acid and stuff. But yeah, that's our resource. Um, let's get some regular rail. Most of it's going to be regular rail. It's not in these containers, of course. Uh, and don't forget to take the media defenses. Meteor defenses. I don't know where they actually are. Installation over here. That should be more than enough. Actually, I want to take exactly 12. That's what I'm actually going to be using. Okay. Well, we've got everything we need to get started, at least. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be something or other that I forget to take that I easily could have done it all in one go. Uh, we've got 50 Logibots. I think that's probably fine. Well, we're going to want 50 Logibots for the place where the uh, where the spaceship lands. Could I combine it and also have like the train depot here? Oh better yet. We could not even bother with a like depot depot. 
uh, in space. We could simply have the train... When the train drops off copper core fragments, it's going to get given charged battery packs, and all of this can be in the same spot. Um, and that way we can easily do a little robot network uh, to keep that stuff organized. Not going to need extra logistics to deal with that. Can you put trains on spaceships? Yes, you can. AK-90, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you have cargo, uh, space cargo wagons? Yes. Um, all right, well, I think... I think this is enough uh, procrastinating. Not ex not exactly procrastinating, but we may as well just go. Uh, and if we forget something, we can just come back and get some more. Uh, we do indeed have the space elevator. Where is it? Oh, it's in my inventory. That's fine, I suppose. We've got ammo, media defense, rail, some signals, uh, space rail, bulk rail loaders and unloaders, solar panels. I probably need a lot more scaffolding, actually, potentially, especially because it's all going to be solar powered. Are they in the ship? I don't see them. Uh, are what in the ship? Let's drop off some more scaffolding. Uh, I want to have at least 10k, I think. To potentially not need to make another trip. Space trains? Oh, right. Um, I guess... I've, I've got the locomotives. Not the cargo wagons. That's what you were talking about. Okay. Um, I'm sure it's super overkill, but we'll take enough for five. But if I do take enough for five, I'm going to want to take enough for um, uh, enough for advanced additional electric engines as well. Uh, it's seven, fourteen, fourteen times five, right? is 70. Can I fit that? This is 140. Uh, I think I can. No! Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Rip settings. 60. I need to make some room. Uh, this goes in here. And 70, right? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I don't know why I need a hundred laser turrets at this stage. Uh... That seems a bit excessive, because the planet that we're going to has zero biters. Okay. That should hopefully be more than enough to get started. So without further ado, let's enable our automation. How? It does indeed use like 7% of our maximum fuel just to take off. Uh, I should put my power armor on in case we need this little laser just to be safe. See how we go with the laser defenses here. That seems fine. Our accumulator charge is dropping, as I would expect. What's our speed? Our speed is approximately 30, which is what we've programmed it to. 
Uh, looks like the lasers can handle that pretty easily. It's actually taking a while for the accumulator charge to drop. We could potentially make the whole trip like this. Um, but lasers are automatically prioritized. So I don't think we're going to be able to accidentally go fast enough to cause a problem. And we have four gun turrets for backup, just in case. You have five locos? I thought I had ten. No, I have ten. Or was that before I picked up extra stuff? Um, let's have a look at Muir and see if... Oh, you can search requests. Wow. Uh, copper, core fragment. That is 18. I'm looking for 25. Potentially. If I do the equivalent of four core mining drills, that would be 16. We've already seen enough. Uh, but I think we could go a little bit further out. Potentially. I don't know, depending on how much area it takes to find 25, I might make the standard to be 16 core drills. Uh, and that would just be 400 megawatts, which is not a whole lot. You had 5, then you saved it. Then I saved it? What? Oh, okay. I think I understand. Uh, we're still at like 40% accumulator charge. I think we're going to make the whole journey without the accumulators dropping. Because... Yeah, 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 because our solar panels got stronger, that's why. So 30 seems pretty safe. And it's only like a five minute trip. Five minutes to bring back uh, 512 copper core fragments. Or 10 minutes for a round trip-ish. So like, that's like 51.2 per minute. Um, I think we're going to be bottlenecked on our spaceship. Which is okay for now. So I think in this instance, I probably won't bother looking. We haven't even found any more core seams yet. Let's stop the scan. Uh, and we'll just... Grab the closest 16 drills, potentially. Or however many it takes to bottleneck on the spaceship. Um, and yeah. There is something I forgot to bring. We may need a little bit more than 100 landfill to do a good rail network here. We do have access to one, two, three, four, uh, probably five, six, seven. There's a lot of them on little tiny islands. Uh, we do have access to a few drills to get things started without the landfill. Or a giant sponge. Do we have any uh, stone mines? I know we can make landfill out of other things as well, like iron, for example. Isn't it like one stack of anything to make landfill, basically? Yeah. I could mine out like iron or copper. This is 4.8 mil. And I'm not, I'm not going to send back copper, like, in this form. 
Oh, here's some stone as well. But yeah, I may as well mine the copper to make landfill here. Spaceship 9, three turrets are engaged with the enemy. The enemy asteroids. 17 seconds until we reach our destination. Fantastic. And this is called Chimera. Our ship is. Okay. Uh, can I get a feel for... This should be at zero, zero, right? Yes, this is at zero, zero. And I think... Uh, when I anchor, we're going to be able to see where zero, zero is, question mark. I don't see a marker for it. Can I, like, control click this? This is 8.94.6. Uh, right here is zero, zero. Okay, that works. Uh, and we've even got some terrain here. Um, so, okay, forget the anchor for a sec. I want to have a peek at where we're going to put the space elevator. The blueprint I've got is... No, I've got one for the, for the sky as well as the ground. Um, I would love to set one up right next to... Zero, zero. Since that's the epicenter of all the coal mining. I'm thinking I'll do it here. So in orbit, that would be here, I think. Uh, this is zero, zero, I believe. Yes. So it would be here, and we'd have these, these rocks chilling where our space elevator is. I guess that's okay. Um, let me just double check. If I put the blueprint here, cannot place matching space elevator on opposite end. Damn it. Oh, I have to clear this rubble? Oh, no. Um... I don't suppose this would work. These appear to be those magic trees that I have to manually pick up as well. Rock is in the way. Shift click. Yeah, I don't think, um... This might actually be trickier than expected. I guess I should go back and bring a space capsule with me so I can go and land. Um, let's see. If I put the elevator here... I mean, the elevator itself can be placed. That's the main thing right now. It'll also mean we've got just nothing but space around it up top. Let's have a look at orbit. Okay, so our spell elevator would go here. Cannot build on empty space, that's just the old power poles. Well, that should be fine. Yeah, I, th I think we can live with that. Let's anchor. And... Is it okay to anchor in here? Am I going to want to build anything there? I mean, I could just move if I have to. I think it'll probably be fine. Although it kind of makes it look like the engine is blocking the rail. Alright. Uh, let's put my thruster suit back on. 
rover port going. There's our space elevator. I would also like to place some pylons. Fantastic. Or a straw. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, grab some more space rail. And I want some standard solar panels. As always, let's grab some scaffolding. That's not a lot of scaffolding. Out we go. Um, it's probably super overkill to have the usual rail blocks for our outposts, actually. But I haven't come up with something uh, a little bit more restrained just yet for this exact use case. Hello? Thoughts? What? Oh, there they go. Um... On second thought, maybe I really should build something specific for this. We're, we're not going to build a big rail block network here. This is like that many more signals that we don't need and stuff. Um... Although I do like that it snaps to a rail grid on the ground, potentially. Um, we can at least use it to have our highway blueprints snap into place. What's another 300 signals between friends? <laughs> They're super unnecessary, though, in this case. Um, let me just put this stuff in here for now. And I think I'll just get rid of everything. Uh, and we'll start from scratch. Really not sure what's happening with my bots, though. Taking their sweet time sometimes. You are running out of power in your suit? No? Oh, that's why they're sleeping. The personal robo-ports, right, gotcha. Let me move, how dare you. That sound though. I'm surprised how little it took to exhaust them. Uh, I can skip the recharging if I pick them up like this. Okay. Oh, and away they go, doing nothing over here. And we're going to have to pay the energy for that as well. Oh no. Okay. Uh, this is probably a bit easier. That animation Exhausted again. I 
Every time I touch scaffolding that I pull from underneath myself uh, and then try to move, like I'm stuck on nothing for a little while and then I can move normally. Okay, can we just spot that? There we go. Alright. So... I think what I want is... Just kind of a loop. And the size of it will depend. Uh, maybe I want the spaceship to park exactly there, actually. So let's just put a bunch of scaffolding around it. And we'll do more or less the same thing as we did at the other end. What are we bonking for? Verzo? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, just to be a little bit lazy, I'll just copy-paste that on the other side. Just a hello bunk, okay then. Okay, so we're going to want a... Bun B, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to want some space rail. Probably as close to the spaceship as possible. Well, no, I can just move this over. Let me just work backward from my conclusion here. I want... Let's do some... Probably, probably just a pair of passive providers on either side in order to put these as close as possible to the, uh, the buffer chest. Hello there, T-Hex. Hello to you as well. Uh, and we'll have a drop-off station. Uh, how close can I put this? Can't really connect it. If I do it like that. This is actually as close as it's going to get. So we'll have an unloader. I guess I should have brought... Vanilla train stops. Oh no, I can't handcraft them. Uh, well. Multi hand stops with vanilla characteristics, it's going to be. I guess it's easier than carrying both around, actually. Alright, that lines up perfectly. I guess I could do longer trains, um, just this once. Just at the outposts, because they literally just have one function. Um, and it'll be a little bit cheaper to go through the space elevator that way. Not by much, but it will. Um, train stop. I have to move all of these one tile, don't I? Alright. Uh, let me just measure this with the rail there first. And I want... As close as possible to the middle. I think it goes one, two, three, one, two. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. And we're going to want to resupply the train when it comes here. Oh, actually, I guess I want like these two to go over here and these two over here. Or I could do a pair of drop-offs. That'd look a little weird, but it's fine, I guess. Nah, I'll just do it this way. Do I need any logic here? Yeah, I do. For vanilla trains, I need a train limit based on... Uh, that doesn't go to the LTN bit. Set train limit. I suppose if I brought... No, I was going to say, I suppose if I brought LTN stops, I may as well use LTN behavior, but... That doesn't get us through the space elevator. Um, if copper core fragments less than something, um, how much can we fit here? Like 300 stacks each. 2,000, uh, 24,000. Let's say 20,000. If copper core fragments less than 20k, output signal L for train limit. And connect that to all of these. And then... I don't think we desperately need to put the chests on both sides. This will be good enough. So we've got 48 times 4 is 192 stacks. That's nowhere near enough. Uh, we need 512. So 10.6... Okay. If we want the absolute quickest loading possible... Uh, I think we want to put... We want to fill up one-by-one one chests like this, as close as possible to the buffer warehouse. Um, and let's do that. I guess I could do a pair of drop-offs. Um, that shouldn't actually be an issue. I don't think we need to bypass the first one, considering how quickly we'll be unloading. Imagine if you could connect space with orbit somehow and make interspace train system. You can if you put trains into the, uh, uh, into the spaceships. My clat did that. Okay, so our train stop up here, um, let me just measure this. I think it's going to be one tile off. No, I can, I can actually make it symmetrical. Fantastic. No, I have to, I'd have to put the train stop further up. No! One, two, three, four. But I don't wanna. I mean, I could just move everything down a bit. I guess I will do that. Then this one, oops. Uh, this one's going to need to be moved. I could copy paste to get the settings and stuff here at least. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and the spaceship's going to be moved down a bit. I believe the spaceship has to snap to a 2 by grid. Which is the same as the trains, so... Um, let's remove this. Measure this out. See where we need to put our train stop. So that... Actually, why don't I measure it this way? This right here is where we want our gap in the middle. Now it is one tile off. Because this was one off with the... Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay, that's... Fine, I guess. Um... So, one, two, three, four... Oh, I could do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six... Out there. Do things have a 6x6 six six red chest for bots to load from? Uh, the reason I'm not doing that is to make the, uh, the travel distance for the bots just that little bit shorter, because the bots are exponentially faster the less distance they have to travel. Uh, Fatboy not so slim, good to see you again. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. Have underground belts from platforms to ship, then from platform to ship, then loader to express load the ship. Uh, no, I want to do it with bots for a few reasons. Don't you want to buffer a full load while the ship is traveling? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to have like six chests on each side. 48 times 12 is significantly more than 512 uh, uh, stacks, although now I'm gonna line this one up, I'm not sure. Oh, I know, I could just have a 6 by I think that's gonna encroach on this space. Sounds good. Go, go, bots, indeed. Yeah, bots are obscenely fast if they don't have to cover much ground at all. Alright, so that won't line up perfectly. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, alternatively, I could just not bother with these two extra chests. We'd have 8 times 48 times 20, uh, 8 times 48 stacks, 384. Uh, but as the bots are loading, the belts will bring up to 180 items per second in from each side. Uh, 360 per second. Uh, 18 stacks per second. No, I think I'd rather make sure there's enough extra storage space here. Um, what if I moved... What if I moved the Roboport back a bit and this limited underground belt size is a bit of a nuisance? Hmm... Oh, it's 45 items per second, which is two and a quarter stacks per second. Per belt. So, four and a half, nine stacks per second. Uh, what's 512 over two? Each side needs to load 256, give or take. We've got... Uh, 192... 
and we're loading nine more stacks per second in here as they load. So like, if it takes more than a minute, it, uh, this wouldn't matter. But I think we can load it in significantly under a minute if we're going all out with the, uh, the bot stuff like this, though. I think I will just do what I was going to do before, which means I need to... I don't strictly need to balance it as long as this saturates. But I kind of need to put forth, uh, four containers into six belts now. Which is a bit of a nuisance. I could just do a dodgy... Did I not bring splitters? I didn't bring splitters, no! Alternatively, I could use slightly bigger containers. Uh, if I brought them. Uh, if I if I did like two by containers, we'd be merging four into three though. Loading math. Also, I think I want to do this. Just to keep it simple and clean. So that's 90 per second that can go from here to here. If we do four belts of output on each side like that. Oh, that's actually a really easy way to do this. Uh, we can just overdo this a little bit. And have eight on each side, and that'll that should be balanced enough. I think. Is it possible for this to get all imbalanced and messed up? This goes to the center. This goes to the left. So all of this goes to the left, all of this goes to the right. Uh, we're storing more than we can put in here. I think it can get imbalanced. I could always put a little safeguard against it by doing this. Instead of having like a giant splitter thing. I think that's fine. Let's -a do it. Whoops. Uh, one, two, three, four. And you're joking. I'm one loader short. Oh, well, I'm significantly more than one loader short. Uh, how many containers is this? Eight. Is 384. Okay. Didn't think I'd be using this many belts. Uh, but I can design it out at least. I'll just have to come back. Uh, let me copy paste what we have over here. And this goes here. Do we even have room? Nope, but we can move it over one. Just enough room. Quite right. Hey, 
how that works. There's actually just barely enough room. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. That one is a wall. We also need this over here. I guess until we come back with more stuff. I'll remove the belts that aren't strictly necessary just yet. And we should have enough to finish this. How many more of these do we need? Twelve? We should probably set up some defense installation sooner rather than later, not to mention some solar panels. How far does our robo network reach? Uh, I think I'll put the defense installation stuff over here. Uh, and come to think of it, I can build it this way. So I want six on either side. Oh, I didn't put my construction bots in here yet. Hmm. I'd like the middle to be... kind of symmetrical with the whole thing. Four, five, six, perhaps. And rail... Like so. What are we doing today, Johan Anderson? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are setting up a outpost on Muir with a space elevator and our one spaceship. Uh, can I fit six of these just in a row for the look of it? Apparently not. I think we'll do a pair of threes on each side. Maybe a little bit more space between these. Don't need this or this. Uh, I probably do need this, actually. I've got no storage chests, so the bots are confused. Uh, and now that we've got all of our belts in place that are strictly necessary... I'll plan out the rest of them. Uh, and I wanted to move down one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. Or don't tell me I didn't bring the clamp. Oh no. That's one more thing we're going to have to make an extra trip for. Ilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put some lighted substations on either side. Somewhere we can do it nice and symmetrical-like. Or symmetrical-ish, actually. Can these reach each other? Yes, they can. And they are touching the space elevator. Cool, cool, cool. All right, more scaffolding. Over this side. All 
right about here, I think. Oh, that one's slightly different. So here. And I think I'm asking too much of that one storage chest. No, I think we're fine. How are you going to power that space station? Just solar panels. We don't need that much. And I think I will put a requester chest down here, just out of range of... Oh, is that in the robot network? Yes, it is. Uh, I guess yellow inserters are fine for this. Oops. Uh, and we're looking for... I should probably use buffer chests for this, actually, just so that the station knows how much it's got. And we're going to ask for a full chest here. Uh, or maybe I should not ask for a full chest so that it gets split uh, evenly on each side if there's any shortage, actually. Oh, I can flip this. Fantastic. So that's going to go there. Good symmetry. Um, our clamp and logic and stuff is going to go here. Where am I going to put the solar panels? Probably off to the sides. How many did I bring? 587. How many do we need? Uh, so this is 263 megawatts. It's going to be about that for this place. And we get almost 700 kilowatts per panel. Uh, we're going for, I think, 16 drills. So 25 times 16 is about 400 megawatt. So we're looking at Let's call it 700 megawatt. So we need about 100 flat solar panels. That's not that much. And we do 50 on either side in a way that looks sehr elegant. How are you going? Uh, it almost looks like a moth. Thank you, I think. I guess. Nature is beautiful. Mostly. Nature's also horrifying time to time. Um, let's go down here and I'll probably put another pylon out here. How many is this? 37 already. Let me use the nav set so I can control cardinal directions like this. That is 46, which means this should be more than we need if we do it on each side. Probably. And then scaffolding, scaffolding, not that far, oh that's a perfect fit actually, almost. Alright, I might be holding the scaffolding that we need to build this. 
Did that just... No, never mind. Don't know how I keep ending up with these decon players. Actually, I think I do. Uh, I think my bots must be tired. And... Solar panels. Fantastic. How's our power looking? Pretty bad, actually. Wait, is it all connected? Oh, they're all charging at the moment, that's why. Wait, but I based my power on how much it was asking for... Loss... I think I miscalculated something. Uh, Pessimistic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What did I miscalculate? We've got 116 flat solar panels, including these ones. Um, that's 80.9 megawatt. We're getting 700 kilowatts for each flat. Shouldn't that be... Uh... Seven, seventy-seven megawatt, as opposed to okay. I definitely miscalculated. More solar panels. Let's go. That looks tacky as hell. Let's not do that. Actually, that's going to block, like, multiple solar panels with this pattern. No, it's not. It's fine. I don't suppose we brought enough scaffolding to go as far as this reaches? enough solar panels for that matter. It will come down a bit once the media defenses have actually charged. But that said, um, obviously if we're going to be running poor mining drills, uh, this is a bit, a bit weak. It's going to look like a giant satellite. That's kind of cool. Um, is this really all of our solar panels already? No, not even close. The robot network just couldn't reach them. Fantastic. Alright, and we can fit these here as well. Let's mirror that on the other side. Fitting, indeed. Um, so I want to go at least as far as that. Please tell me we've got more scaffolding. Uh, I think we're about to run out. Okay. And the bots are going to place it all random. Uh, that's not good. I kind of like the look of that on the map, too. Alright, that is getting a lot closer to being acceptable for the moment. Obviously, it's going to be less of a problem once the media defense, uh, once the media defenses have charged. Why are the bots not delivering the ammo? Because I don't have any logistic bots in the system, that's why. 
Um, but why aren't they delivering it now? Oh, we have to make sure we request from buffer chests. That's why. And in order to take from a buffer chest, we need to have a requester chest. If we want to have requester chest to take from here and then keep it in storage and then have it go to requester chests over here, we're going to have to have basically requester into buffer. So that's going to look for... Uh, it's going to look for media defense installation ammo, but only while the spaceship is here. But then... Then it'll go around in circles. If this is a buffer chest and this goes to here and the bots will pick it up. Uh, what I need to do is calculate how much is in this buffer chest, which we know how to do. I really wish I brought spaceship clamp at least, so I don't have to make another trip to do the calculations and stuff. Um, I definitely would like to... Uh, I think for now I'll disconnect this so that we're not setting requests. Because I'm just going to manually do a bunch of stuff. Um, could I perhaps actually read contents and set requests and have the bots push everything from that chest to this chest? before we go and bring more stuff over. We also need some charging... Uh, some space train battery pack charging stations, which I forgot to bring. At least we've got full power for the moment, and the media defenses are up. Uh, and the space elevator can be... can not be used because we haven't put the cables in. I don't think I do want to put the cables in yet, because it'll start consuming them. Not until we get the whole thing... Uh, not until we finish building up on this end. Uh, and we can have the... We're just about ready to have the spaceship automatically cycle. Uh, electricity transfer direction is definitely going to be down. Force contained carriages forward. Can force trains into occupied blocks or other trains? Yikes. Okay. If I'd just brought a clamp, I think I could have run through all the logic at least. Well, I can still do that. So, to calculate... Whoops. 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 Uh-oh. Uh, to calculate all of the copper core fragments that are in the spaceship, all we have to do is get how much is in the logistic network and subtract what's in these chests. Is it possible to park a train on a spaceship? Yes, it is. Very much so. 
Uh, and I think that I think the cargo capacity of the train doesn't count towards the spaceship hull stress, which is pretty damn cheesy. What should we be researching right now? Uh, energy weapon damage before we go into the pyramid? Sure. That seems okay. Um, I think I'll put down some... Oh, I've changed my mind about where I want these substation pylons to be. Because I want to transfer information across this way regardless. Uh, I definitely don't want that wire connection to be missing when the spaceship leaves. Um, I guess I could put another pylon up here for the moment. Uh, but yeah, we need to connect all of these chests. And we need to read... Times negative one. Copper core fragments. And connect this to here. And this green wire will tell us uh, how many copper core fragments are actually in the spaceship. Although we can't really tell right now. Um, conditions for launching the ship are going to be... Let me reconfigure this real quick. How do I bring up the... The shortcut thing. To edit my shortcuts. I can't remember. Wasn't it up here somewhere? What is this? Auto trash. Um... So many mods. I don't see it here. Does the Informatron have something to say about it? Can I search the Informatron? Um... I knew how to do this before. Oh, is this it? This is our shortcut thing. It used to be up the top left. Okay, create a new pin, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Hagen orbit. Do I just, like... Here we go. Left click to switch to pin location. Right click to edit. Fantastic. Let's make that the mole. Update pin position. There we go. It used to be up here. Um, so I probably want to take some inspiration from the logic I already figured out over this end. Except Hagen orbit is automation signal moon orbit 1180. Moon orbit one one eight zero. Uh, and if X number of conditions are met, uh, output spaceship launch. Um, the conditions should be. I don't just want to say copper core fragments is 512 stacks because sometimes we're going to send back a broken what's it called power packs 
destroyed power packs. Hmm. That makes it a lot trickier, actually. You could do the whole robots are sleeping thing. Yeah, but if... Uh, when the ship arrives, the robots will be sleeping straight away. Uh, I think it takes one second before it'll launch again, but I think it'll, like, receive the signal. Potentially, it'll receive the signal that it's time to launch and just launch before the bots move. Or before it understands that the bots are moving, basically. Um, so normally what I would do here is when topic core fragments equals 512 times 20, 10240, uh, then we're going to launch, basically. So we're getting the robot network minus what's in the red chests. Core fragments are greater than half and robots are sleeping. Uh, I don't know. I could do the math of... How many stacks of destroyed batteries are in here and change how many core fragments we're looking for. That's a lot of combinators, though. Arithmetic combinator at, to add both core fragments and broken to see if greater than 512. Yeah, I might have to. So I'd have to go for, like... the core fragment divided by 20. Output S for stacks, and I would have to round up. Well, I could make sure we don't bother putting, um, no, that wouldn't work. Because the bots tend to oversupply when they have a cargo size of more than one. I was going to say I could make sure we don't bother putting destroyed power packs in here unless we've got a whole stack, which I would want to do anyway. However, when the bots carry three things at once, hmm, I could ensure, I, I could ensure that there's exactly a stack of Oh god, this is getting arbitrary. Uh, I could ensure there's like exactly a stack of destroyed uh, batteries available for the bots to pick up that's in the logistic network and any excess are not allowed to be put in the container until there's no ship here. Would you ever have a more than... More than a stack of destroyed batteries could do full minus one stacks for fragments. Yeah, that's the idea. <coughs> hmm. Bid Bidrith, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um. Also, it might be feasible to just have, like, three, two or three uh, recharges next to each position for the locomotives. And just directly insert into the train. Need LTN but for spaceships? I mean, the beauty of it is you can build LTN but for spaceships. And we're going to do that eventually uh, for this run. All right, uh, I think I want to take a little break from thinking about this and come back with more stuff.
Why did that... What? Well, that's okay, regardless. Uh, so we want to come back with clamp, with lots more scaffolding, with... Do we have ammo here? Yeah, we do. Um... With the stuff that we need to make big containers, so steel, basically. I shouldn't leave home without a stack of steel ingots, or copper ingots for that matter. Um, anything else? Some vanilla train stops, otherwise this will bug me. Yeah, we're not going to need any logistic train stops on this planet, right? You can put down logistic train stops, they'll work, but it'll just bug me a little bit. Uh, and maybe some more solar panels as well. How many more do we have? Like, 36 plus... We've got 250 more. How many do we have right now? 250. So we could go to 120 megawatts. I think I calculated that we want potentially... 700? That doesn't sound right. Considering we have over a hundred spare right now, except that these aren't recharging. Um, okay, currently we're consuming 61. It's going to be about that. Let's even call it 70. And we're going to have 16 times 25 megawatts, 400 on top of that. Potentially. I haven't even seen how much... Um, I guess I could put a little bit... No, 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 no. It costs 1,761 space elevator cable to get this thing started. And then if it runs out of space elevator cable, I believe we have to start over. So I do not want to, like, put cables in just to do a little bit of going downstairs. Um, I would love to know how much... How much we can expect from one... Oh, yield 276%. Okay. That that might give me a good idea. Yield... It doesn't say here. Uh, from Hagen? 66%. Now, is that because we have drills already, though? Can I pick one up and put one down and find out? I guess I could send the construction train somewhere to do that. Where do we have a drill? Over here? Alright, park here for a little while. And the yield says 66%. And I'll just double check that that number doesn't change when we pick up a drill. Where's our train? Oh, there it is. Okay. Destroy that. Yield 71%. Oh. Oh, it does take that into account. That makes it harder. To figure out how much we're going to get from our drills. Um... Hmm. Isn't a hundred percent just what we would normally get out of one drill? I don't know. I, I, I can't do the math with the information I've got without like going to a website or something to look it up. How much uh, how many core drills we'll actually need to keep up with our spaceship? The more drills you place, the less effective they are. Yes, I know. That's why I'm trying to... They're, they're 25 megawatt each. That's why I'm trying to figure out how many we actually need to keep up with this. 
Having about 25 drills, you'll have about 20% yield, indeed. Um, yeah, it's square, square power, so like, the first four drills is equivalent to two of the first one drill, the first nine drills is equivalent to three of the first one drill. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to have to spare more solar panels than I expected. Uh, let's try, let's just calculate as if I'm going to do 16 drills, and I think we'll probably not need that many, probably. Uh, 400 megawatt plus about 70, um, so 470 megawatt is 470,000 kilowatts, right? Um, 470,000 over 697, we need 675 solar panels. Approximately. This is already 250. Um, so if I expand it out this way, this way, this way, and this way, uh, we should have more than enough. Okay, if we've already got... How many panels is this? Not counting the ones in the solar in the ship. Bit under 250, and we've got about 250 here. So I just need to bring about another 250 solar panels. I'll bring 500 to make sure, assuming we have them. So, uh, we need solar panels. 500, let's say. We need a clamp. We need more space belts. We need vanilla train stops. And I wouldn't be surprised... Uh, yeah, I did not bring anywhere near enough rail. May as well drop off some signals. Uh, and if we're going to do quad length trains, we need 4 times 16, uh, 64 bulk rail loaders. We've got 10. So we need 54 more of these. Where's the red solar? It's behind some research that I'm not going to bother with in the spaghetti science. It's only 200. What? Oh, we need Astro 2. That's why. Airy frame scaffold. Um, is that everything? Potentially? I should bring some regular belt just a little bit, uh, so that we can make the outposts. Landfill, yes, we're going to need quite a bit of landfill, I think. Okay. Uh, that's probably everything. We'll have a few more minutes to think about it as we travel back to Hagen Orbit. Splitters, uh, indeed, yes. Although I did, I did fix it so that we wouldn't need any splitters up here. But... Hmm. Yeah, it's probably best to use some splitters if we're going to have uh, four bulk rail loaders at each pickup. It's either that or we'd need a bunch of excess uh, copper core fragments filling things up before we summon a train. Alright, ETA is about five and a half minutes. Should we see if we can go faster? Oh, 
I, th I think we can... Did I typo that? I must have. I think we can slow down in the event that we go through asteroids. Wait, are we in density something? What? Why did we go down to zero speed? Did I click this? I must have clicked it. Okay. Let's let's find out how safe 40 is on this ship. I think it's going to be I, I think we're probably not going to use any bullets. Yeah, that should be fine. So what's our ETA at this moment? Uh, three minutes or so. It's probably about four minute trip for the whole thing. Maybe slightly slower coming back? No, we've got the accumulators. Probably be better to have one more solar panel than four accumulators here, actually. Uh, I don't have one on me at the moment. Wait till we get back. Okay. Could we perhaps grab our combinator from here and use it for a requester up here? Except I need to set these things a little bit more reasonably, some of them. Uh, set requests, we don't have any landfill, I'll have to pick those up manually. Apparently we don't have a spaceship clamp. Um, is it up here? Yeah, it is. I need to remember that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have 18, let's make it 20, uh, probably 18 train stops. Oh, we should have something like a depot down the bottom as well. And up the top, there should be a station that the train is scheduled to go to, that it can always reach. Come to think of it, I might not have left room up here. If we have a train stop here, one, two, three. That's not so good. Hmm. I think we're going to get trains doing the jolty dance up here with this setup. Because we need to have a stop that they can always get to coming out of the space elevator. I hope I'm not going to have to move all of this. Technically, I could move the space elevator up a bit, but I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. Alternatively, I could send some information down the space elevator to check if either one of these two stations has a train limit greater than zero. I could just detect L from these two combinators. That should be fine, actually. Yeah, that should be okay. 
All right, are we here already? Fantastic. Let's park. Actually, let's test the automatic anchoring, which I haven't put in yet. Um, combinator. And have I set? Have I made sure to avoid auto launch here? No, I have not. Okay, I'll turn that off for now. Uh, and we just need clamp. Uh, anchor using spaceship right clamp, ID 1. Anchor 2, target left clamp, ID 1. Solar panel is in the way. You what? Solar panel is in the way. What do you mean? That works. Uh, wow, that does not take long to fill up. Uh, why... Why couldn't we auto-clamp here? It's not because the inserters were sticking out, was it? Why would it say solar panel is in the way? Um, I really don't know. Let me grab this uh, clamp before I forget. Do you have a rogue clamp with ID1 somewhere in the base? That's a good question. I thought we had more than two, uh, like, overall. No results found. Ground? Um, what, what do I search for it as? Spaceship clamp. Do I need to search for some other entity? Spaceship clamp. Anchor using? I don't think that's going to work. Uh-oh. Oh, you can search for tags as well. That's good. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to manually look for this one. And... Oh, it's there somewhere. There it is. Yeah, 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 this must be it. Can I just turn it off? Or do I have to pick it up? It says solar panels in the way. Uh, I think this is what was actually in the way. Oh uh, yeah, solar panel would have been in the way. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'll probably just decon that regardless, but I want to find out. Also... Give me those solar panels. That's a lot of solar panels. Oops. In you go. How many is this? 1.5k? Uh, I'm positive that's going to be enough. Alright, let's... Integrity check. Why does it still say launch disabled? I don't know. Oh, hull stress 301. That's why. Um... What? Oh, you're joking. The constant combinator pushed it over? No. 
No. <laughs> uh um I guess we could take one less accumulator. Bruh. That that's brutal. Alright, clamp. Using right. ID one. Target left, ID one. They don't both have to be the same number. Um, but I usually find it simpler that way. Kanda uh, Jr., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're gonna find out if it will auto clamp. Solar panel is in the way. Yeah, I kind of expected that. So, even though it has a switch on this, uh, turning it off just doesn't, doesn't work. There we go. Okay. Well, our ship just got ever so slightly lighter. It kind of looks more symmetrical that way. I kind of want that extra bit of wall, as silly as it is. It also makes me stop thinking I can squeeze through here. Alright, I need to go get a whole lot of landfill, which reminds me, I need to find new sources of stone. I noticed as I was going through the many, 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 many combinators uh, and pick up and drop off stations, updating the stack, uh, the request thresholds and provide thresholds, um, we still have quite the shortage of stone. Last I checked. Um, it's looking decent right now, but not so good actually. Both sides are asking for stone here. Okay, let's go get some landfill. D hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're already one-fifth done on the energy weapon damage upgrade. That's a good... And... How much do you suppose we need? We don't need to do, like, big areas of landfill. We just need to do two by however many towns this is. Um, to bridge across the water. And maybe a little bit extra for... I, I just thought of a question. <laughs> uh, it turns out we can put... Su uh, we can put substation pylons, or pylons in general, floating in space, but not floating above the water. I find that a little bit amusing. Regardless, um, well, let me measure out roughly how much this would be. If we have like two by and two by and an occasional bit of Extra landfill for signals. Let's just really roughly estimate this. Um, that's not what I had in mind. Maybe something like that, give or take. To cross all of this would cost us maybe 7.6 thousand landfill. Okay. Alright. That's uh, more than I was expecting. I think we'll definitely have to manufacture it on planet. But it certainly won't hurt to take some landfill to help get started. The waves in the water can hit it. There's no waves in space. Duh. What about radioactive waves? 
What about a deconstruction train vibing? I need to remember to pick up some ingots as well for the little things that we don't foresee, like needing steel to make a warehouse. Get in there. One stack of each type of ingot. Uh, probably not. You know what? Why not? Give me some of the exotic ingots to carry, just in case. Copper. Beryllium. I've already got iron, and I need some steel. Do I have steel ingots here? In storage? Yes, I do. If you have signals on each end, uh, the space trains will zip across in a second. Indeed. True, I forgot how fast those trains are, and they're going on a straight. So we really don't need much more than the bare minimum. Uh, no, we literally could get away with the bare minimum. I think. Okay, we're also going to need a lot more regular rail than I brought, I think. Probably, definitely. I guess we could make it on the spot. We've got iron, we've got stone. Making steel is a pain though. I've got some steel here though. Um, maybe I'll take another stack of steel, just to be sure that's further away than I thought it would be. I'll grab it anyway. Why do we not have solar panels here? How dare you. Oh, because that's where the roboports were earlier. Um, let's check our list. Solar panels, check uh, space belt and regular belt. Not check. Splitters, undergrounds, belts, 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 loaders. Should be fine. I don't think we really need any more space belt except a tiny bit. Um, up in space, but we may as well. And where did I leave my blue belt here? I don't really want to turn my personal logistics back on because it's going to bring a whole lot of other stuff back into my inventory that's not going to be useful. In this context, regular blue belt. I accidentally picked up something. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll keep the stack of furnaces just in case. I don't need multiple stacks of signal transmitters and receivers. Don't need any logistic train network. Uh, sorry, LTN stops. We need some regular stops. At least 20. Perfect. Um, and then some, some more regular belt. And undergrounds. We've got splitters. Are over here. And I think 
that soon? Oh, we need like 60 bulk rail loaders just to be safe. Uh, to be safe. Don't know why they're up here, but I'll take them. That is 42. There's also some down here. I thought I had 42. What? Now I have 42? Or did I already leave a bunch back there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That should be fine. Um, should probably take some more construction and logibots just in case. And logibots in particular, I would like another stack. There we go. Alright, panels check, clamp check, space, various belts check, train stops check, loaders check, and landfill check, and extra rail check as well. Although, that's still nowhere near enough for the whole outpost. Um, yeah, I think I'll just grab whatever rail we've got left lying around here. Regular old rail. Oh, there's some. I think we found the rail. Still got plenty of room in this container. Oh, scaffolding. We're going to need lots of scaffolding. Uh, to keep up with those solar panels. Probably just fill the rest of it with scaffolding. Assume you aren't bothering with the whole accumulator to turn the drilling off? Um, I guess not, because the solar panels in orbit never, uh, never stop. But, well, I'm pretty sure, like, the media defenses get prioritized just like laser torus would, so even if we did have extra power consumption, it wouldn't actually be a problem, I think. Also, the meteors don't come so often that they're not going to have time to recharge. Oh yeah, scaffolding is always in here, That's that helps. I completely forgot I had dedicated scaffolding machines. I could probably get away with doing it in the autocrafter, but, like, we'd potentially spend a lot of time in the autocrafter making scaffolding, even though they're super speed buffed. Okay. It's not that big of a deal to come back again, regardless. Um, I think we'll just get going and see how we go. Alright. Launch. And I want to hydrate, but first I really need to see if 40 is safe starting from Hagen orbit. And it looks like it is perfectly safe. I wonder where the first milestone of speed is where you start getting some bigger rocks and stuff. If those count as bigger rocks, then apparently it's less than 40. Uh, but yeah, I don't think our gun turrets are ever going to get an opportunity to burn through some ammo at this rate. And I'm, I'm fine with that. Three... Uh, what is it? 
four minutes plus change to get from Hagen Orbit to uh, Muir. It's not going to get much better than that without being really, really reckless. I think. Oh, our accumulator charge is actually kind of low. And given that we're closer... Well, given that we're getting closer to the sun, I think it's going to start going back up soon, unless we're asking too much of it. Okay, accumulators are empty. Let's see how this goes. I'm pretty sure the... the uh, laser turrets get prioritized over the ion engine. What's our speed? Dropping, but not much below 40. Yeah, I think this is fine. And now we're dipping back up. We're going back up. Now we're down a bit. I think this is just the engine maintaining 40 at this point. Almost. Regardless, uh, I'm pretty sure we're safe from asteroids at this speed. And this is the more difficult version of the journey because we start with lower solar. Cool. We'll soon be back at Muir orbit. I'm going to grab a drink. And how close are we now? 1 minute 50 seconds. Uh, what should we do in the meantime? I guess I could do a little planning here. So I calculated, like... Bringing the solar panels up here, 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 and here should be way more than enough, right? I also want... Uh, I also probably want to send information down the space elevator with circuit wire here. There's no way to set, like, a train limit for the space elevator, right? That'd be interesting. Come to think of it, did we pick up extra cables? We didn't. I would... I would have thought the bots here would have loaded cables, actually. Oh, I didn't reconnect this yet, that's why. That's fine. Also, I want the um, long arm inserters back in place. I want to confirm. That our ship isn't going to have trouble clamping because the arms are sticking out or something? I don't think it will. Didn't you set the chest to read contents, not set filters? Yeah, I disconnected it. Um, so if I do this and set requests, um, when it goes back it should get what it's looking for. Alright, anchor to Muir Orbit. And we're going to be anchoring right about here. And then there's our anchor. Fantastic. Um, and I think once again I'll just get the bots to... Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Uh, set requests. Everything that's in this chest. Get it out of there. And apparently, oh, 
Oh, I've only got a hundred concrete. Oh, no. That's why I can only make one of these six by sixes while we're out here. I kind of thought if I had a stack of steel ingots, I could make as many of these as we like. But yeah, anything after the two by twos requires concrete. Oh, well. Um, let's get our scaffolding. Actually, you know what? Don't do this, because I want the construction bots to be able to access all of this stuff. Um, let's start by expanding our solar. Out as far as... These two can go. Give me some scaffolding. My inventory is looking a bit full, actually. Is it time for construction spaceship? I guess you could use your one spaceship for construction spaceship. Um, but... Considering that copper is our number one problem, and we've got space elevator, and we've got huge copper core fragment planet almost right next door, I, I can't not use our one spaceship for burying copper core fragments. Especially considering it's a huge planet, um... It had taken an enormous amount of energy to use delivery cunning capsules. It's also really materially wasteful. Uh, liquid rocket fuel, you'd need a, a stupid amount to get off planet. Yeah, it's by far the cleanest setup to do it this way. Um, let's get some solar panels over here. What the hell? Oh, I see. And we're going to need... Oh. That's too many, actually. Pick those up. And make pretty pseudo-patterns while you do it. And I think I would like to go exactly... One substation pylon up and down in each direction here. And just keep adding solar panels and make it look like the ISS, kind of. How does it always miss that first one? Alright, give me panels. Take my landfill. Give me scaffolding, actually. Uh, probably should have grabbed more of that. Top right pole is not in line? Oh, you're right. There we go. Scaff. More scaff, less scaff, I guess. Whoops. I forgot the robots would be ready to go here. Give me scaffolding. And I don't know if I can do this fast enough, but I'll try. I can because all the bots are preoccupied. Get wrecked. Alright. So 
solar panels. Not like that. Should be about right. Oh. Apparently I'm... I think my robots are tired. Whoop. There they go. Is that in line? Yeah, it is. That is fine. That actually lined up really well. Well, well enough to not want to block two of the panels. Go get some more. Also, I kind of want this uh, little extra bit just for the look of it, though. Especially on the map. Somehow it always misses a bit at the start. How much scaffolding is this? Like 3,000? I doubt if I brought enough for the shape I have in mind. But as long as it's enough to... to get like 470 megawatts, um, I think that'll be fine. Oh, there's bits of scaffolding missing up here. Fantastic. Already up to 488. Uh, get out of here, panels, for the moment. Get out of here, landfill, for the moment. That's the last of our scaffolding. Oh no. Did we get it? Do it. And that's all we've got. How is this not connected? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, how about cut that off? And we get a bit of scaffolding back. See how far we can go with this. Looks like that's about it. Thirteen scaffolding left. 
Um, is that going to reach? I don't quite see. Oh, perfect. Nice. We got that side done, at least. Um, I'm going to have to bring back way more if I want to make it symmetrical and go this far. But maybe I'll just trim corners? Depends how much electricity we have. Things taking longer to build than I imagined it would, but I'm loving the look of it. Um, oh, that's all our that's all our panels if we're out of scaffolding. Whoops. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, so how much power do we have now? Seven hundred megawatts. That's actually enough. We brought extra panels. Um, cool. I might trim it down a bit so it's symmetrical, but I'll do that on my own time, perhaps. Uh, we're going to need some space train power pad. Uh, recharger things. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Uh, train stop goes here. And I was thinking, potentially, we could just direct insert this stuff from the train. Oh. Is two enough? I think it probably is. Um, we can fit a whole stack of charged space train power packs available for pickup from each one of these. And a whole stack of input for that matter. We'd actually want to make sure we don't overfill. From our stockpile of um, discharged power packs, if we were going to do this way, uh, do it this way, we'd have to make sure that there's room for the train to output. And there's no way to measure these, I don't think. Yeah, I, I didn't expect to be able to connect circuit wire to these. So in that case, uh, we're just going to do... Buffer chests? Yeah, buffer chests. It doesn't matter that this is a buffer chest, because this is just going to be for charged packs. Uh, and it's a buffer so that we can request it there, and we know how much we've got. Um, we need to know how much we've got so that we can do the math and not request too many more to be delivered here through the spaceship. And I'm thinking we just put a charger here. We need a chest here, which probably a passive provider. No. Yeah, we could... Hmm. So discharged power packs are going to come in via buffer chest. Um, I want to make sure we prioritize recycling the power packs that come out of the train. I could simply put a requester here that doesn't request too many. Like, if we literally just request one... 
Uh, discharged power pack at a time. Oh, that's destroyed. Uh, do you request from buffer chests? And then the ones that go into the train are going to effectively take priority. There'll always be room for those in the train here. I guess that would be the same even if I set the request to like 60. But uh, that should be fine. Uh, we need to filter the output here for charged power packs only. And we need the the busted ones to find their way back into the spaceship sometimes. Um, an a passive provider should be fine for that. And then just regular inserters here will be fine. And probably just allow like one stack or... I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll allow up to three stacks at each train stop though. Or each... Uh, where each locomotive is going to be. Because we want to distribute those... Um, evenly enough. I'll, I, I'm pretty sure I can see it just fine, but I'll visualize uh, up to six train length so that we can tell exactly where that locomotive is going to be. If you're using bots, do you need the charger next to the train? Uh, not really, but it saves some mucking about. Um, and I'm pretty sure for the few trains that we're going to have, just a handful of charges should be enough. Never mind, you fixed it. Okie dokie. Uh, is one inserter turned around? Okay, cool. Let's put this here. And this one... Actually, I'll I'll want this to be symmetrical, right? In which case, move this down a bit. Uh, and put some scaffolding over this side, perhaps. Oh, I forgot we're pretty much out of scaffolding. We do have, like, a few hundred left. Uh, anyway, I want this to be... like... so. So each of these will accumulate up to... Uh, enough uh, power packs to completely fill a locomotive. Um, and we're going to need some logic on a signal transmitter. Uh, we're going to be putting in a signal for that's going to be received over here. Was this my little simulation bit? Yeah, we don't need that combinator. Um, so that goes here. What's this connected to? Nothing. It's just for looking at what's on the signals. So we don't need that combinator. Yeah, so we're going to send signals for space elevator cable, ammo, and discharged power packs. Uh, and we're going to send signals for how much we're asking for. Um, obviously the space elevator, we're going to request and put cables up here. I'm 
does the inserter that takes out of the locomotive only take the used ones? Yes, it does. Yes, indeed. That's uh, something we've been using way over here. Oh, they're all charging. How is it that one quarter of these are all charging at the same time? I wonder. Oh. Oh no, that's fine. I remember thinking this through. I was surprised that the charged packs ended up backing up on the belt like this. But as long as the discharged packs have gaps, um, as long as we're able to output the discharged packs, this will all be fine. Anyway, back to our current build. Um, so I want to get discharged and charged packs that are in the robot network to figure out how many packs I've actually got. Um, I can just do a couple of arithmetics for that. Discharged times one, output uh, power pack, discharged. And also count charged power packs as if they were discharged power packs. And that'll give us our total count in the robot network. Nice that it prevents you from taking charged packs out, indeed. I mean, you can't take, like, solid fuel from your trains with inserters, right? From the locomotives for example, so the modder didn't have to do anything extra for that one in particular. Um, I think I'm gonna have to... Okay, so when it comes to taking stuff out of here on this end, I'm going to have to have some requester chests. There's gonna be set requests on this end, so uh, when it's when it comes here it's going to have no request set except maybe you know um copper core fragments and discharged so we're just going to get a request chest Probably push straight into an active provider. Should I make it a big container? We basically want to read the contents. We can't directly read the contents of this, that's why we do this math thing. I should just set request. Hmm. I was going to say set requests for anything that the ship could be supplying, but then they'll get pulled from here. Is the only problem. I wish I could enable disable. Logistic chests. That would be very useful. Alternatively, I could... Just not measure what's in here.
Well, charged packs aren't going to get moved regardless. So that doesn't make any difference. It's only the discharged ones and the ammo and the cables that we have to figure out here. Um, I'm thinking I should just push these things into a chest that isn't part of the logistic network. But we can detect how much we've got with wires. So, how many cables did I say I wanted to have queued up here? Like a thousand? Two thousand? Seems potentially a little excessive. How many do we have? 1.2k... Um, storage... Cable. How many did I bring? 2.4... 2.5k? How many stacks is that? 125. I wonder what this little thing is. It's a little... 2 by something entity over here. That's way more inserters than we should need. Did I do it just based on how much I could fit in this? Um, 2,000 with 100 stacks. Like half a buffer warehouse. Let's just do a warehouse. Why not? Wait, 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 wait. How many stacks is this? 256. I think that's more than enough. I'll put the cables in here and everything else get out. Blacklist cable. Oops. What it could in vanilla, maybe I'm misremembering, prevents you from taking charge packs out. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it does prevent that. Inri, Inri, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we have enough stack. Yeah, we definitely have enough stacks for this. Uh, maybe I should just pick up the... Never mind, it's already done, basically. Alright, more passive providers. More buffers, more requesters. Just about done. Alright, so we got a big old storehouse uh, that the logistic network cannot read. And that's going to be putting cables in. I won't connect it just yet. We're going to be requesting with the requester chest cables into here. All of them, please. And we'll 
have to do something similar for... Well, the power packs are going to have to be in the logistic network. Also, so is the ammo, actually. So I think I'm going to have to do the shenanigans whereby... Um, we detect if the ship is here, and enable or disable certain inserters. Um, can I just get this back? I think we, what we have to do is, if... If ship is detected, we can say if there's ion stream coming from this thing. Do we just do a regular request here? I think so. I'll need a decider combinator. Or I could read from, like, the red wire that should always have... Actually... Yeah, the red wire will have the clamp settings. So, if anything greater than zero... Although, that would switch off if I were to disable this. That's fine, I think. Uh, output... Battery or discharge power pack or ammo. Except if I don't use a constant combinator, I'm only going to be out, uh, be able to output just one. Set requests, request from buffer chests, and then no, I think we just set that all the time. And then we have an inserter, or belt, or something. I'm sure an inserter will be fast enough. Um, how much ammo are we looking for? We can fit 960 in one chest, right? So I think a passive provider here will be fine. Or a buffer, for that matter. In case the ammo somehow ends up somewhere else. Don't think it will. Okay, so... What am I doing? Ammo... 960. Except... No, I think it'll just have to be passive. No, because even if it's a passive, it'll cycle like this. So we need it to... Yeah, I was right the first time. We need to not set this uh, request except for when the ship is absent. Or when the ship is here. Right? It has to be a requester chest to take from a buffer chest. And then we have to put it into a different kind, like some kind of storage. Which means it's going to loop as long as the ship's here. Um, I could disable this inserter while the ship is here, though. And since the amount that we're looking for in total is less than one chest, um, I think that'll be okay. And instead of anything, we're going to have to go for something specific, like spaceship clamp, or... I think I like this better, actually. Um, ion stream. Uh... 
Actually, I guess if I go for something off of the red wire, uh, we could do something a bit more universal. So if anchor using spaceship right clamp is greater than zero, output input count of uh, media defense installation ammo. And that's going to be a whole chest full. Turn off the requester chest for buffer chest. Uh, but we have to take from a buffer chest from the spaceship. Hazantia? Welcome, welcome. Maybe doing well. So shouldn't this be... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. It should be looping right now. Or not looping, taking all from here. And then once the ship leaves... Uh... There's no more... Set request here. And uh, I just have to say ammo equals zero. Yeah, that should be fine. How do we only have like 55 ammo here? Is it all in here? Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme that ammo. Okay. So I'll put the ammo in here. Uh, we'll act as if the ship just arrived. Spaceship clamp right. And we set the requests, we disable this inserter. Every bit of ammo goes in here. And then as soon as the ship leaves, ammo goes into uh, the robot network. Oh, it looks like we shut down some stuff as well. So the only problem here is... Well, we do have other requester chests. I might bump these up a little bit. Um, with the amount they're requesting on each side. Um, but yeah, the only trouble is, once the ship has been here for a minute, uh, ammo should find its way to here and here regardless when it's delivering. But if a ship were to stay here indefinitely, uh, the no more ammo would find its way to the media defense. Which is probably fine. So we need to do the same thing, but with battery packs. Um... And we don't need that many battery packs either, so once again, we can do the whole thing with just one, uh, just one chest here, like so. Um, if I do red wire like that, they're gonna get, I think that's fine if they're sharing inputs, because this will be power pack, space train power pack discharged. We want like five stacks spare. I'll need a buffer and requester, uh, and this will output discharged. And if it affects the signal that we're sending to ask how much stuff we've got, um, the ship will be long gone, but it'll all have settled. Alright, discharge power pack. Equals zero. Cool. Um, and this just looks for... Discharge power pack. 
nice suit. How many did we bring here so far? Three hundred. Cool, cool, cool. Can ships fly sideways? Uh, they don't really fly in a direction so much as they teleport out of this surface. Uh, and then they always fly north. Well, in reality, they stay in place and the surface does some effects to make it look like you're moving and the asteroids come from north to south. Not Slipnip, Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and we'll need something similar. Except I want way more stacks of space elevator cable, is the thing. So should I do it the same way, or... I guess I could make another 4 by for the requester for the space elevator cable, I suppose. The space elevator itself does have a bit of a buffer, right? 64 cables, yeah, 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 okay, that'll be fine if there's nothing in here for a little while. So we could just do the same thing, but with a larger chest. Uh, in which case, I kind of want to pick this up so I can use it to handcraft. Let's do it the fast way. Meom. Okay, maybe even faster than that, except I want to put this over here. Preferably. Uh, actually, I should leave that there for now. Okay, I want one requester, one buffer. And I guess... If I put it three tiles apart, I could use loaders like this. Defcon Owl, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's just that there's going to be a lot of stuff getting moved. So I could put it like here, I guess. And our buffer chest here. And we could control it with belts. And we're going to do the same thing. Except now I have to get this signal all the way up here. So... I guess I could add some more substation pylons. Or the look of it. What a mess of cables. Nalvis is getting hit with asteroids again. Um, and I want this red wire to find its way over here. So we're basically going to do this model again. Spiderweb? Yeah, I'll fix it in a bit. Actually, I'll fix it right now. That's kind of bothering me a little bit. Um, I also want to make sure... Oh, that doesn't reach. Maybe I should reposition this uh, pylon here. Isn't that our maximum? Yeah. Let's put that there. And then this wire goes like this. And... Copper cable connections. 
uh, power will be shared between these two, so they're not creating a separate power network. Cool, cool, cool. Looks a lot neater as well. I don't think we need this cable connected, though. Right then. So then, this is going to be... If anchor using spaceship right clamp request, however much cable. Let's make it 2.5k. That should be plenty excessive, right? Or even 2,000? Uh, cable. And the wire connection goes here. This isn't going to work so well when I've got multiple spaceships inbound to the same location. But I'll have plenty of time to think about that. Also, was that Combinator turned off? It was. Okay. So we're going to set requests on this. Uh, set requests. Request from buffer chests. And we're also going to connect that wire to the belts. And they're going to be set to that signal equals zero. So the moment the ship leaves, we put... Wait, what? If anchor using spaceship right clamp detected, output, we are outputting, we stop detecting, we stop setting, if space elevator cable equals zero. Oh, wait, what? What? Where is it getting? Oh, this is green. Oh, these are backward. Well, there's your problem. It's not actually a circuit issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, spaceship arrives. Cable is taken from buffer chests and put into requester chest. Which means it can be taken from here. Um, I'm going to have to actually request the maximum to make sure this doesn't happen. Uh, 256 times 20, 51, 20, okay, so everything gets dumped into here, and as soon as spaceship leaves, uh, buffer chest gets all the spell evader cable. Except, spell evader cable doesn't have to be distributed by bots. Um, so the only reason to put this in a logistic chest is if we want to read from here to know how much cable we've got. But alternatively, we could just read the contents of this chest this way. And that might be better in this case, so we don't have to pick it up from here and put it in here. Which means, in that case, we could just not do the shenanigans with checking if the spaceship is here, and just always request a cable. Which means we don't need all of this. But we do need to read contents and detect this wire. 
Um, I need to replace that with a chest that isn't going to be detectable by the bots. Or they can't take from here to the requester chest. Just opted for delivery cannons for all my elevators? It's not as efficient, though. And it's not as cool. That part is very important. Alright, so if stuff isn't going to be going back and forth like this, um, I think we can just have the one inserter. To bring the cables over. Um, and because we're not setting requests, I can read from this chest as well. So that we know how much cable we've actually got. That'll be a better model for the future. What is this green wire for? Oh, I see. This is how much copper core fragments we've got specifically in these chests. That's not actually connected. Okay. Um, if I borrow this cable, I don't think it causes problems. Except... It's going to cause problems when I'm sending it somewhere else. We'll make a red wire for this one. So that's how many cable we've got. Uh, we need times negative one. Do I want to do an each? I could read from the robot network. We've already got these two times one over here. That's perfect, actually. And I think I need a separate couple of combinators. Uh, we're going to get discharged times negative one. And we're going to get... Let me move this out of the way for now. Uh, we're going to get cable which is not in the robot network, times negative one. You don't need use nearly as much cable to not delivery cannon it? What? What are you talking about? I was saying the cost of sending things by delivery cannon is materially quite high. Uh, this is going to go here. So we've got negatives of how much discharged we've got. Well, charged plus discharged. We've got negative of how much space cable we've got. Space elevator cable. Uh, and we need to know how many... how much ammo we've got. Which we can just read from the robot network. And I'll put this here. Uh, ammo times negative one. And we're going to compare all that to how much uh, how much we're asking for for each of these resources. So we're going to go with a constant combinator here, connected to all of these, and we're saying we want like 500 uh, ammo, a couple of thousand cables I think will be fine, 
I'm sure that's overkill. I certainly hope so. So even if something goes wrong for oh, quite a long time, our spell evader will have quite a while. And then... Discharged power packs. And we're only looking for about 300. I have eight elevators, so running a spaceship back and forth is not what I would call a fun task. But we can standardize it. It's just a prototype. Alright, so on... Like, this signal right here, we should have... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait. No? Hold up. Where's our battery packs? Are they all in chests that don't read to the robot network? That might be it. We've only got the one storage chest. Is that going to be enough? I'll just make it easy on them. Standardize my delivery cannons? That's so lazy, though. Okay. okay, so that number should start going down. Uh, why is it still at exactly 300? Read logistic network contents. Discharged Space Train Power Pack. We have them in here, don't we? Oh, they literally haven't picked up any yet? Wait, where did they go? Oh, I see. They're in this requester. Uh, okay, okay. So we're going to pretend the spaceship isn't here. Okay. So the number of things that we're asked for is going down. Asking for. Fantastic. I should probably come up with something more like this kind of... No. It's the problem of not having one more layer for logistic stuff. Like if we could have one more hop, we wouldn't have to do this. To be able to both dynamically request to this thing and take from it and have storage on this end. No need to worry about fuel for a ship, but you're paying for every single stack. That's just... Oh, no. Where's the scale? Where's the scaling efficiency? Okay, uh, so we have... We're asking for another 106 ammo, 68, 67, 65. Oh, I see what's happening here. We're charging these things. That's fine. Uh, and we're already... We've already got more space elevator cable than we're going to try to request. So yeah, then I just literally connect that to our signal transmitter. I think I'll put it over here. And we want to set it to... Mewa... Cables? I think I want to rename that. How about Mewa Outpost? And I'll just double check. Mewa Outpost, there we go. So we connect this over here. And back at Hagen Orbit, we know what we want to load into 
our spaceship before it comes back here. Fantastic. Alright, so now we just have to figure out... Well, the easy part is... Um, whoops. The easy thing to figure out is how to do the copper core fragments. The hard part is how do we do the copper core fragments, but also the occasional busted uh, space train power pack. You can copy paste the name from receiver to transmitter and vice versa. Uh, can I though? Because when I go to the navsat, like if I'm standing next to, say, this station, and I go to the navsat to copy this station's settings, and then I go back to where I am, uh, I notice it doesn't work. But maybe if I stay in navsat, does it, like... I don't know. Let's try it. Default. Control 3. Shift right click. Make sure we stay in Navsat. Okay, cool. That does work. Nice. Uh, I don't have enough inventory space. Yeah, you gotta stay in Navsat. Indeed. Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Okay, so... I think I just have to conditionally... Why have I not built this yet? There we go. Oh, that's a lot of stuff still. Uh, let's do this the easy way. Actually, no, that won't work as well this time. Is that it? Are we empty? Fantastic. So I want to say when we've got 60 destroyed power packs... Come to think of it, with how slow the power packs get destroyed, we probably will have exactly 60. When the spaceship needs to collect some. I wouldn't count on it, though. Um, and we're going to do a set requests over here. Uh, the green wire is only ever going to be set requests and... Detect Ion Stream. We're not going to be bothering with Detect Ion Stream while we're here. So I need to put these back. So let's see. I was thinking about using stack size calculations, but I might go for something else. Oh, I know. Okay, if I... If I always set the requests here to include a full buffer warehouse of copper core fragments, but I also set requests for 60 um, space train power packs, if we've got a whole stack, uh, destroyed ones, and then, just like back here, we don't launch unless the bots have stopped moving. In which case, I'll need another... Uh, I'll need a different wire. Oh, that's... 
also connected to cables. I think that's fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we're going to read robot statistics for Logibots. And when no Logibots are moving, that is one of the conditions of taking off. Um, we're not going to check for a precise count of copper core fragments. We're just going to... I'm going to have to make sure we wait like a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone had this idea, but I, I saw this problem with it. But I think... I think if I also give it a timer uh, and make sure we wait at least a second or two before we take off, that would probably do it. So we're going to say, what's our signal here? Um, anchor using spaceship right. And we know there's going to be a signal of that type from a ship that clamps with this automatically. Anchor using spaceship right clamp greater than zero. Output 1T. And then... We'll have a timer that resets itself. Is it okay if this thing's connected to its own input? Because I want it to connect here as well. So like... It'll output 1T onto the red wire if this is detected. And this input doesn't care if there's a T or not. So that should be fine. And then this one's going to be output T input count if that condition is met. So this should give us about the number of ticks that have passed since the spaceship arrived. And if we disconnect it, we lose T entirely. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so that's our timer, um, and then I kind of want to put these like next to each other or something, like maybe just like this. So if t greater than, I don't know, 120, a couple of seconds or something, And if bots have stopped moving. So if I get Logibots to move by doing something like this, we see that green signal stops. And once they stop, uh, here is green again. Oh. Um, I think we're fine to leave this connected now, actually. Alright, so if bots are not moving, green signal. If T is greater than something, green signal. Make it like five seconds. Output one green. So if we've been here five seconds and the bots are not moving, um, we can go home. I might make it a bit longer just to be sure while we're testing it. At least ten seconds. Oh, and... Uh, 
Well, I could say check that copper core fragments exist as well. But I think we can assume... Unless everything's totally busted. Uh, I could foresee some issue where the trains stop moving and everything else works. So, how about... Copper core fragments. Greater than zero. If there's no copper core fragments here, we can probably assume something is seriously busted. It also means our ship won't take off right now if we're testing this. So that is one, two, three conditions. And this is already set to the correct destination, I believe. Moon Orbit 1180 is Hagen. Fantastic. Um, and then we're just going to always set requests for the maximum of copper core fragments. 512 times 20, 10,240, and where are we reading from the Logi network? Here we go. Um, and we'll say if, move this over a bit, this is sort of part of from Part of some different logic, so I kind of want to put it over here. Uh, if destroyed, is greater than 60, output destroyed, input count. Uh, greater than or equal to 60. Alternatively, I could add one more combinator to set a request for exactly 60 here, but I think it's not going to help. Because the bots deliver three things at a time, um, it's going to be a coincidence, even with that extra logic, uh, if we avoid wasting one stack on, like, one destroyed, uh, uh, de uh, destroyed power pack. We can't count on the bots to load it precisely, so the extra logic would go to waste. So yeah, um, if space train power pack destroyed is greater than 60, set a request for however many of those we've got. Always set a request for lots of copper core fragments. Um, if bots have stopped moving, and there's copper core fragments here, and we've waited at least 10 seconds, then... Take off. So the the one condition here that's not met is we don't have copper core fragments. Fantastic. And those signals shouldn't interfere with any of this other logic. Too bad cannot landing pad name to launch pad. Oh, copy-pasting? Do you mean the landing pads in the cargo rocket silos? Or something? Alright, cool. Um, also, I could always double our space train battery pack charging if I really want to. But I think this is probably enough. Probably. Alright, I think
think we're ready to put our cables in. How much power do we have? Over 719, well, over 100, 700 megawatts. We are totally fine. Oh yeah, and I was thinking about sending, sending information. Do I want to train with these? I think I do. I doubt. There we go. Yeah, I need to detect train limit in these two. That's not going to have a convenient connection point. I could piggyback it up this way. Except then it's connecting to this wire. Is that a problem? If we have an L signal on this? I don't believe it is, actually. So I could have just connected it over here. If we had a power pole handy, which we didn't. Um, that looks really sketchy, but... Well, that just looks really sketchy. I think this is a bit clearer. And these belts are unconditional. Okay, so... I could just put a signal on the lower end of the space elevator on the input side. And it's going to be off if train limit is zero between the two of those. And that should prevent any weirdness. with the trains stuttering going through the space elevator, because this spot here is, like, taken. Alright, let's start our space elevator. And I forgot just how long this is going to take. Um, how about this? No, no, we're not bottlenecked on the... Sneeze. Uh, we're not bottlenecked on the inserter here. That is just how long this is going to take. Okay. You know what I didn't bring as well? I did bring coal miners. I did have a moment where I briefly thought of bringing coal miners earlier. But unfortunately... Uh, I got distracted somehow. Alright, but let's check. If we remove the condition that we have to have uh, copper core fragments. Then I'm pretty sure we've got our auto launch. Indeed we do. And we should find... So all that stuff gets put back into the Logi network. We are no longer asking for as much stuff. We can check it on this end, I think. Uh, yeah, I can see the inputs from here. So we're looking for another 77 batteries, 106 ammo, and... Uh... Huh? Oh, that's times negative one. Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I did a double... I think I did something twice. One job, indeed. Uh, I think I set it so that on Mewa's end... We're sending a signal for what we're asking for. And that's why we've got multiplied by negative one on both sides. So we don't actually need this multiplied by negative one on this end. So as it is, we're actually only asking for the things we don't need at the moment. 
So these combinators can go. And we're just going to have... Um, positive signals for the stuff that we actually want delivered. Uh, but yeah, we're actually getting to the point where we are going to be delivering more cables automatically this time. Uh, I don't want an auto launch until I've picked up some ore mining drills, which I don't have here. I could go down to the mall to get them, but there's only 10 there anyway. Why don't we just get coal mining drills built up here? Where do I want to put them exactly? I guess here, because outpost things. And what actually goes into the core drill? Uh, prerequisite drills. Oh no. Stone brick, single cylinder. We have 56 stone brick. I don't think we're delivering those here. Um, do we have those in the rail network in space? We do not. I think I'll just go down and get core drills from the mall downstairs this time. I haven't decided yet if I want stone brick to go into space. So far, so no. Yeah, there's actually nothing. Uh, unless I want to craft those things in the mall upstairs. There's no reason for me to send stone brick into space. Uh, so I think I'd rather just ride the elevator down. Also, I forgot to watch this... Uh, this journey. I think I'll pick up and put back down these gun turrets to reset their kill count because the kill count is going to be a really good indicator of how safe we are. Like, I think the lasers can always kill everything. We're going to find out. Alright, how close are we? One minute left. Let's get them all downstairs to build more ore mining drills. If I can find where I'm doing that. I could always just add more. Oh, here we go. So those drills will probably be built by the time I get back there. Probably. 17 seconds. And we'll check that our auto, auto clamp works, even though the inserters are sticking out. Fantastic. All right. So all of these gun turrets now have zero kills. And we'll get a very definite answer as to whether they are ever needed. And I hope the answer is no, but it's comforting to have them. Alright, that's our automatic loading of resupply. Very, very good. Let's go grab ourselves... I forgot... No, I didn't forget the Space Train battery packs. I just didn't place very many of them. For three trains, maybe? Four of those. Oh, it's also bigger trains, so it should be more efficient that way, I imagine. Um, but yeah, I think four of those charging packs will probably be enough. Okay, 
down the elevator we go. Capo, how dare you. How dare you. This is very, oh, very serious. Maybe I should send power down. It would reduce our rate of consumption of uranium for, uh, for electricity. I need to make a bunch more solar panels first. I don't actually have like a solar panel array in orbit in Hagen, uh, except for the old spaghetti. Uh, really, it's all... oh, yeah, all of this is still by itself. If it was all active at the same time, obviously this wouldn't be enough solar power, but it seems like... Well, we'll wait till we've actually got consistent throughput with all this stuff before we make a judgement on how much this, uh... How much this solar power contributes. Anyway, where's our... All mining drills. Solar blocks incoming? Yeah, we could do that. Uh, that's only 12, though. Oh, wow. I forgot just how slowly coal mining drills get made. Um, can we give them a hand? And passive provider, I guess. Should probably be stack inserters. Damn, that is slow. I only need a few more. Did that just swap recipe when it was on ninety nine percent completion? Oh no. 100 seconds. 3. Point, plus 160% crafting speed. I mean, yeah, 3.25 crafting speed. So. 30.77 seconds. It's doing it every time. How did we ever get. I guess it's only when the only thing we have left to craft is. Or mining drills that this works. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make the crafting combinator mod update slightly less often. I hope we weren't deleting resources that way. I don't think it works that way. I'm not sure. Um... Whoops. So we've got 12, I want 4 more. There is a fork mod of the crafting combinator where you can set it to finish at least n items before switching recipes, nice. I have kind of done that with uh, Factorio circuitry though. Um, and yeah, this should finish right before it switches. Should. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, we have our drills. We need two more. Two more for the magic number. I think we're bottlenecked on regular drills here. There we go. Ooh, 
Ooh, 98% on energy weapon, just in time. We'll go down onto the planet just after our... Just after our laser weapons have been upgraded. You could also work with something like memory cells, but that would probably result in an enormous logic mess. It's not that bad, depending on what you want to do. Uh, one of my versions of the crafting combinator has... Uh, basically, you just pulse in what you want to craft as a one-off. And it'll produce that. It's kind of nice for outposts. Uh, but yeah, give me, give me those. What have we got now? 15. I need one more. Oh, my inventory's full. Well, there's your problem. Okay. Let's go back to Muir. T-Hacks doesn't know the word combination logic mess. I mean, even if I say so, I'm able to... Uh, the, the number of combinators I see a lot of people using, I honestly don't know how they solve a problem with that many combinators. Um, I do have ways of reducing the count, at least. And there are certain solutions that I just forgo simply because it would take a lot of combinators to do what I want it to do. And I don't really think it's worth it. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready to go back now. doop a doop Fantastic. Uh... Should we research anything else while we're just killing time? Compact beacon. You know what? We should have a look at compact. Oh, it's 500. Ouch. Don't judge us. I'm sorry. Uh, different delivery cannon capsule recipe. Why not? Oh, we can already do speed 5? Actually, we could already do speed 6. I did not think I would have access to that yet. That's efficiency 6. And where's prod? We need, uh, we need bio for prod. Yuck. Uh, thermal radiating speed... I don't see myself ever using this, to be honest. Might knock it off just for the hell of it at some point. Ooh, rocket turret. That sounds cool. And Logi 5, why not? Been meaning to ask, but how old are you? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, what did I... No, we're good. Auto launch. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. Alright, so we should have zero kills on the gun turrets by the time we get there, I imagine. I'll stay... I'm staying at the back of the ship to make sure... I don't have any personal lasers on me right now, actually. We can... We can watch. At least one years old? I can neither confirm nor deny this. Alright, is there anything we can do with like three minutes? Uh, probably. Probably. Are we still suffering for stone? I imagine the answer is yes. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe we've caught up. But we could certainly go to the trouble of making another mine or two. That is 5.1 million copper. 
Oh, 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 I know what I want to do that takes a couple of minutes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm going to save here. And I'm going to turn off the auto clamp. Because last time I jumped into the editor while riding a spaceship, interesting things happened. Uh, and I don't want interesting things of that nature to happen this time. That was fun, indeed. Something's out of fuel. Yeah, that's on Nalvis. Um, so what I want to do is redesign a little bit. I don't know if you could hear any of that, but there's some thunder. Uh, I do have search protection... But it's still a little spooky. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to update the lazy mine. And what I wanted to update about it was... First of all, this can be anything greater than zero, and I think it'll work just fine. Uh, the only reason we need this is to make sure... If there's a train here, if there's practically nothing left here that the bulk rail loader gets a chance to put stuff into the cargo wagon before it's taken by the fast loader. Turns out the fast loader is extremely aggressive in that respect. Uh, the other thing I wanted to update is the provide stack threshold should be 100. And this provide threshold thing is correct. I haven't seen it working yet, though. Um, and I also want to update it so that we have the undergrounds here, so that we can extend this more easily. North-south. Take it fundy any day over negative 35 degrees and one meter of snow. Chilly. Oh, we could put some... We could put a substation pylon in there. Wow, literally one of them covers all of this. Except I want to make sure it's in a place where... If we want to connect pipes to this or something, it's not going to be in the way. Okay. Uh, the only thing is I'm going to have to automate delivery of substation pylons to the construction train downstairs, if I do that. Maybe I'm too lazy to do that just yet. And I also wanted to limit this to a little bit more than one cargo wagon on each side so that it won't get completely imbalanced. But also we've got some slack so that the mines can keep going while the train is on the way. It's snowing here too. Indeed. Okay, I think that looks like a pretty good update to our little... Oh, I need prod modules. Oh, right. This has... I think I'm just going to make it standard that they have prod modules. Uh, let's see. Prod threes. That's what we're stuck with for now. And then, uh, snap to grid 18, 34, 2, and 2. Whoa, not 86. <laughs> that was muscle memory. 18, 34, 2, and 2. And do include the train stop names. Then, and furthermore, plastic. Okay, we should be at our destination. If I hadn't clicked this off, 
Uh, I would have been teleported to the editor extension space, and we would have had to load a save now. But, thank goodness we didn't do it that way. Okay, I do foresee one little problem here, in that the spaceship might take off the moment that there's a copper core fragment here. So, once again, I'll disable this while we're working. doop doop I should have brought some more scaffolding so I could finish this. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, it should be about time to go downstairs. Fantastic. Alright. Where's the nearest... Core mining drill. Beautiful. 100% effective. What's our rate for the first drill? 27.679 core fragments per second. I don't think we're going to need many drills to bottleneck on our spaceship for now. I think we could probably just do like three or four. I mean, we can afford as many as we like. But we just don't need to spend that much time in this place. Let's get one, two, three, four, five that are already on this island. Maybe six over here. Um, and then we can trim the surface and leave a nice small footprint. I'm doing this first partly because they take up one stack each. And partly because we can just scout the area this way. Yep, it's up here actually. Uh, and we should do the biter thing. Did I place all those drills? Uh, yes, yes I did. Fantastic. Alright, let's pick up some fishies while we're here, why not? And I did bring the landfill down this time. Okay, let's do the biter thing. Switch over to power armor. And... Take all of our robots with us. Max consumption, 200 kilowatts. Yeah, this can keep up. We don't need any batteries or anything. I guess I could double these and throw some batteries in. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference. I guess we get a bit more burst damage at the start which is the most important moment. But uh, regardless, we're going to take plenty of destroyer capsules inside with us. We've got 55. I think we'll be fine. Also, I've got a Tesla gun. I could take a cryo gun. That'd probably be safer. Just create a wall while my bots destroy everything. And 100% charged. Oh yeah. Ready perfectly. And it's a speed module. That's not that bad, but I'm honestly not excited about anything but a prod for a rare module. Um, and yeah, that's... That's the pyramid. Alright, let's head outside. Go back inside. What? Okay. And... 
that's our Stargate stuff. Which I'm honestly not very interested in, after messing around with it last time. Okay, we need some rail. And I don't want to rely on our rail blocks this time. Just like, what? That That's not the space elevator. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, just like before, I would like to create something kind of custom and not so over the top for the use case here. I think I'll start with this. Well, I just need not exactly a depot, but like a stacker for however many trains we're going to have. And I don't think... I honestly doubt we need more than one. Um, but I'll make a stacker for three trains and see how that goes. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, and we're doing long trains here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That seems fine. Actually, we can do it in like this. And some signals. Where are my signals? They're upstairs. Poor bots. Oh, I smack, smacked into this ion engine. Alright, give me some signals. And some regular signals. And maybe some landfill. I definitely need a bit of landfill. Probably not a whole lot, though. If we're only going to go that far. And back downstairs we go. Okay. So we're going to have... I guess I could have just used chain signals. That fits easily enough. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Um, and I wanted to read from this red wire right here. Is that okay to connect those? I think it is. Yeah. Alright, so if L is greater than zero. What? I cannot reach. Oh, is that a signal built into the built into the space elevator? No. I do wish you would reach. I guess I'll just have to put a substation here. That looks kind of tacky. Actually, just a pylon should be fine, because... Yeah, we'll do the substation pylon. For the lights. Okay. So... Don't read signal. Close signal. If L equals zero. Wait, what? Hold on. Close signal... Oh, I see. I disconnected the wrong thing to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to have a circuit wire connection to have a condition on it. So if it's receiving no L from upstairs, 
Uh, if both of the train stops upstairs are unavailable, if, if they're full, then red signal for this rail signal. Cool. Seems good. Uh, and upstairs... Oops. Uh, upstairs we've only got, like, one rail block, and I think that's probably fine, to be honest. Because I don't think I want the train trying to go here if there's a train here. We only really have the two stations to have the storage on both sides. And it won't take them long to get out of the way either. That should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to name this... Depot. I'm going to remove these signals. And do we just go with some spaghetti rail? Should we should we have some semblance of the rail block system or spaghetti rail? <laughs> if we're only going to go like up to 16 drills, on any one surface, then I think spaghetti rail is not that big of a deal. And it just occurred to me that I could have not put locomotives on the back of these. Since they travel in a loop anyway. As long as you don't deadlock, what's it matter? Indeed. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Absolutely destroyed. What? Um, we are going to need some... Let me just do it this way, actually. Should make a little blueprint for these. Quad loaders. The biters in the temple, yeah, but he didn't stand much of a chance. Uh, and I'm gonna just limit these to fifty stacks each. Hmm. Would it harm the overall throughput if I just run a belt through all of these? The train will sometimes come when... I could just set it to a larger amount. So I don't have to do splitters and stuff. So the way we're going to balance this, this is just to saturate it. And it's really just going to be a one-off, but it would take longer. And I could have those go either direction. It's going to be a lot neater this way. So yeah, if I set, like, well, we're not using LTN, but if I say, effectively, provide stack threshold is 60 times 4, then by the time the train gets here, we're not going to move, like, 10 stacks from one thing to the other in the time that it takes it to pick up, I think. 
Alternatively, I could set it even higher than that. Yeah, seems good. Um, I think I would like to move this up a bit, though, closer to... We could even have it direct insert. Closer to the drill. And then that can just go back this way. Since you already designed space for a double head of trains, it's a waste not to take advantage of it, I guess, kind of. It does take more force to accelerate. Ah, oh. I think I can put a loader like this, actually. Uh, it does take more force to accelerate the train, but we're looking at five versus six. Heads. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Lighted. Pylon. Substation. Over here. And we'll do regular lighted pylon. Most of the way. And lighted pylon substation. Over here. It does find its way in. Nice. And then we can just do that. I'll put signals here. Uh, we obviously want some chain signals over here. Either that or redesign the space outpost. We don't really need to redesign the space outpost. Um, like, I really don't mind if there's this extra little bit of space over here. That should be fine. I do feel like the spaghetti rail is going to get out of hand, though. Maybe I should do your typical double lane T-junction kind of stuff. I do want my outposts to be neat, is the thing. And we'll see how it ends up looking. Date, Daedalus Storm. Okay, so this is... Upper Core Fragment, Provider, Electricity. I can't see what our electricity looks like from here. Uh, it's obviously fine. Um, but yeah, I think... If I had only one train, I could set this to just disable. Uh, what if I do train limit one disable on all of these? No, I think it'll like disable while the train is here and that might cause problems. I don't know. Uh, we're going to need the dreaded combinator. Just to set train limit. I really feel like I shouldn't need a whole decider combinator just just for this. Train limit. Uh, let's see. If we have twenty times sixty times four. Copper core fragments four thousand eight hundred. Then set train limit accordingly. Cool. I need more rail, obviously. Uh, 
that's not as much as I was hoping for. And how about this one down here? We could do... Oh, that's, that's actually going to be pretty neat. So we've got rail this way only, and then this is bi-directional, and this only goes up here. Can we fit a train in there? One, two, three, four, five, no we can't. So this down here is just going to, whoops, just going to be bi-directional. Neat spaghetti, indeed. Only the neatest spaghetti in this place. Can I... Are we lucky enough that I can copy-paste flip this? We're one tile off. But actually that's even better. Because that's just going to direct insert into the bulk rail loader. Magic tree is in the way. Is it possible to have trains lose less speed on corners if we don't make them as sharp? Or does that just not work that way? Just like that. Then lighted pylon reaches pretty far. There we go. Fantastic. And then up here. And I might do, like, a T here, kind of. We'll do another bi-directional. Up this way. Is that going to be okay to go all the way up here? I think so, yeah. I think this is fine when we literally have, like, three trains and they're really fast. Uh, so close. Does that actually fit? Oh, no whoa. Uh, except this thing's backward. Never mind. That actually fits perfectly, though. Fantastic. This planet is just a huge island. Uh, I mean, it's a lot bigger than this island. But as far as we're concerned, it's kind of just a huge island. If there were biters on this planet... And this was the shape of the middle of it. Uh, and I never came here because I didn't want to deal with the biters until late game. And we could have fortified it by just fortifying this little spot right here. That would have been unfortunate. Uh, let's go lighted pylon substation. And then lighted pylon over this way and down here why am i just deconstructing that stuff okay so we're gonna have bi-directional signals here Go 
got to do it a little closer actually. It's fine. And bidirectional signals here. Got a bunch of rail to place, and there's a bunch of ghosts over this way. And my inventory is horribly full. Problems meet solutions. Is this thing full already? That didn't take long. So yeah, we've got 4.8k exactly, it looks like. If that's all it's going to take, uh, why don't I go a step further? So that's uh, 20 times 10, 200 times 4, 800. Wait, that's not right. What? 2,000 times 4. I very much doubt that the belts being active are going to be a problem to fill up our cargo wagons if we wait until that is full to send a train. And it's going to have the same overall throughput. I can update the other ones remotely. Uh, I forgot the belts on this one. Should be eight thousand. I guess you need a U-turn for the train so they can come to the stations north and south? Uh, no. Uh, they're gonna turn around after they come to the station. So, like, this train... Oh, right. The train would have to go here and then go back this way. Okay, we need a corner here, then. Around these trees. Can we make it line up with that? That uh, looks better. I guess I didn't need to shape it like that if they're double-headed. Whatever, it's fine. Um, let's go this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. Boovin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we've got two more before we need the landfill. I think I'm going to need more rail first, though. Technically, you need to check the bulk loader you are loading into. If there's a wagon load in that one, that station has a train load. Oh, only if it's furthest from the drill. Because in this case, it's closer than this one. And they should get about 50-50 going left and right. Not exactly 50-50, you can't rely on it. But, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's do a copy-paste. start with this one. See where that fits very nicely. And something like this. Did we put signals over here? Yes, we did. And we can come back in this way. Seems good. Uh, and then we just need rail going all the way over here.
something like this. Wait, was... Okay, I thought one of the, our other stations was missing something. Uh, we're fine. Uh, don't forget power. Power's good. Lighted pylon substation. Lighted pylon. Light. This. That'll do. Uh, I didn't place this bit of frail. I thought I'd run out at exactly that spot. No power? Just a little bit further. There we go. And I forgot to put one of these here, because I thought it lined up already. In you go. Cool. And just one more before the most difficult one. How much rail do I have? A couple of hundred, that's not going to cut it. I could make some more rail. I need 23. No, I could make lots of rail, but... Oh, I was going to say handcrafting it might be a bit slow because I have to do the beams. Uh, but that's not quite correct. At least for the first hundred beams. Alright, so we're going to go bi-directional, bi-directional. How many hours on this run? Uh, yes. 15 days, basically. Master of my fate, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cavern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Ooh, efficiency module 5 is almost done. And now we need some power. How far does it reach? Does the lighted pylon substation not give us more light than the lighted pylon? Huh. I thought it would be more proportional to its coverage area. Okie dokie. So now we've got enough drills that each one is only giving us 11.3 per second. How's our power? Power's fine. And we have one more to place before I think I'm satisfied with this trip. What's your electricity source? Just some solar panels in orbit. We're sending it down the space elevator. Doop a doop. Fantastic. Um, how do I want to do this station? Probably like here so we could have some straight rail oh, why don't we just do it directly face this one up rescue the fishies 
Add some landfill. What the? That's not what I was expecting from Niceville. Very odd looking. Oops. Wasted a little bit. Okay. So here looks good. Here looks very good actually. And I'm out of train stops. What? I know I brought more train stops, but I'll just handcraft one. So I don't have to go back upstairs for this. Alright, lighted pylon substation. And then rail. And rail. And rail. Landfill like so. That is not a lot of landfill that we need. Except I still don't have enough. Let's go get some. What are you ooing about? Was it the handcraft? Grab some landfill. Uh, drop off some stone, I guess. And for some reason, speed twos? Why do I have speed twos? What? Why do I have eight speed two modules on my person? I, I can't fathom how this could have happened. Anyway. The landfill looked disgusting. <laughs> Living the speed 2 life, apparently. Is your main base on Nalvis? It is on Hagen. The outermost cryonite planet in the first system. Alright, get out of here. Cliffs. How much further do I have to go here? It's actually very close to the space elevator. Fantastic. And you know what we can do is trim surface because we are not going to be needing the rest of it unless and until we want to expand further. Terrible neighbors over at Nalvis, indeed. Yeah, I can just go anywhere on Hagen. That's one of the perks. Okay, so signals and signals. That should be all we need. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six drills. Uh, each individually only gives us 11.3 per second. Together they can give us more than three stacks per second. Of ura Did I say uranium? Copper. Copper is the thing. That our drills can give us. These ones are already full. This one is going to take a bit longer. Um, or all of the new ones are going to take longer to catch up. Unless I go and remove the... I could do that. If I, Weirdly enough, even though they're not doing anything, uh, if I remove the core mining drills that are idle, it'll make the other ones go faster. Because I want to, I kind of want to let it saturate before I send the trains. Just, just for testing reasons, basically. Looks 
like it won't be too much longer. This one isn't set up correctly, or rather it doesn't have power. Whoops. And yes, even one that isn't plugged in is slowing down the rest of them. Fantastic. Unless you start them all at the same time, the fastest way to go would be only one drill at a time or something like that. Basically, each one that's full should have to stop. Should be picked up, rather. Okay, are you powered? Fantastic. Are you full yet? No. Are you full yet? I want to check the circuit logic that they've all got train limit 1 when they're full. In the meantime, we can go ahead and start making our trains. Uh, where did I leave them? I know I brought them. Here we go. Locomotive and cargo times 4. And locomotive. Fantastic. And then let's do the same thing over here. Is that connected? Yes it is. Oh, press Q on it. There we go. Okay. So your deal is going to be... Down to Muir, and once you are down to Muir, go to Depot Station, which apparently you can't see right now, so I can't give you the stop. Oh, that works. Alright, cool. Uh, wait for... Wait for inactivity? Yeah, I guess. Uh, and then go to... Copper Core Fragment Provider. And because I copy-pasted them, they already have the correct names. Oh. What? There it is. Copper core fragment provider. Until full cargo. And then up the elevator. And what's this station going to be called? Uh, copper core fragment requester. Good enough. Power to the last drill. Did we do that? I think I did that. Let's check them all. There's only six. One. Two. I removed it. But yes, there's power. Three. This one's saturated. Four. This one's saturated. Five. Uh, this has got power, and six, this has power, and it's saturated. All right, cool. Uh, and we'll want to copy that schedule to this guy. They should already have charged batteries. Fantastic. Uh, and before I get these two moving... Oh, wait, first of all... First of all, we definitely want to give them some upgrades. Uh, 
additional advanced additional electric engine mark two and just enough power to support it and weirdly enough it's always the same output no matter where we are and same thing on the other side believe it or not this will actually make the fuel go a lot further uh, and then we need another 10 and 14 Oops. Beautiful. And... Fantastic. Beautiful and fantastic. Alright, let's get our drills sorted. Um, I think... Did I... Let's just remove all the ones that are saturated. This one's working. Fantastic. This one is saturated. And the station is working. By the time I do a lap... Uh-oh... Oh, tell me we have more solid rocket fuel up here. Really? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to make some. Not solid rocket fuel, that is, but we'll, we'll use a fuel processor. Walk of shame, indeed. Give me some coal. That's not coal. That is still not coal. I have some wood. That's about all I have. What happened to all this coal I couldn't help pick up earlier? Alright, let's fly back to the space elevator. Oh god, is that as far as I got? Oh no. Oh, oh god. Jeez. Okay, we have, we have a couple of stacks of coal. We have more than four stacks of coal. That'll give us at least seven seconds of jetpack. And my inventory is too full now. Ugh. Ravna. Okay. Can we at least check while that's happening? This is working correctly. Fantastic. This one... Uh, should already be working. Yes, good. This one is train limit one. Fantastic. And this one is train limit one. Fantastic. Okay, so one, two, three, four, I think I just checked. The one up the top is also good to go. And that just leaves our most recent one, which is saturated and train stop limit one. Beautiful. Alright, so once we get some fuel, I'll replace the drills. Actually, I guess I could... Nah. Well, maybe I should. I could ride the train. That's one way to do it. Where is this? It's just up to the right from the space elevator. Okay. I thought I would have inventory space right now. Um, why do I have a recipe combinator? Bruh. I 
I guess I could drop the coal mining drill back up here. If I put it in my hand. Yeah, I think we have enough fuel to actually get somewhere this time. Alright, how many... core drills do we have on this planet? We have three. One, two, three. So I know where the rest are. One, two, three. Okay. Could do landfill? Yeah, I guess. Uh, there we go. And one down here. Watch out for the uranium. And... Last one. We'll double check. We have six drills. Fantastic. And our rate is what it was before. 11.3. Alright. Let's find out if our trains are set up properly. Let's get that out of my inventory. Okay. Down we go. That is nice and fast. I wonder if setting it to not five seconds of inactivity would have them function correctly, though. I kind of want to try it. Because then, if there's a stop available right after they get here, they're just going to blow through it. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, minor detail. Uh, we need to get this guy going. Can they both go up and down the elevator at the same time? The answer is yes. Cool, cool. Wait, where are you go- Wait, no, no, no bad. Um, did I not add the stop after going up Muir? I, I guess not. Hopper. Uh, uh, oh god. Okay, just just stop, stop here, stop here, stop here, stop here. Now you should be able to see Hopper requester, and you're going to empty cargo, and I'm going to update this thing's schedule. Um, but I think it's split into two trains. So, I'll wait till it comes through. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Wow, that it empties quickly. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> I think it did lose some of the... I think it did lose some of the copper core fragments that were in the cargo wagon. <laughs> Even though it didn't stop. Um, which one's which? Is this it? Okay, stop, stop, stop. No, wait, wait, no. You're too fast. No. Oh my god. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. You're still going through the elevator. Oh my god. What happens if I get in the train? Trying to ride it manually. Um... I think... What if I pull this one forward? Okay. Okay. We got there eventually. Alright, let's copy your schedule to this guy. Perfect. Wonderful. We made it. Panic, indeed. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I almost killed myself just by moving left after getting out. This thing's already full. Fantastic. Look at how quick they are. They do stop here, even if they have no 
um, low weight condition. So where's the other one? Here it comes. Could I persuade you to stop for a sec so I can make another one like you? I, I honestly really doubt we need more than two of these trains. Um, but just to be sure... And because we made the gantry for them. We'll go with three. Did I... Oh, I brought... I changed my mind about how long the trains were going to be after I brought them here. I don't think I have another two... Uh... Space... Cargo wagons. And I can't make them unless we have heat shielding and I don't think we do we do not okay um I, I guess we'll just go with the two trains for now I think it's gonna be more than enough to be honest I mean look at them go just just look at them go Guess two trains is enough, indeed. One train would probably do the job, yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right about that. They're already both sitting there destination full. So that's how long it took them to empty to pick up from each station. And now each station is only individually doing eleven point three per second. So, a bit more than half a stack. So... Um... I think it takes 1.77 seconds per stack. Uh... So, 177 seconds. So, just under 3 minutes. For each of these individually to have a train load available. Uh, and they're all about to meet that condition at more or less the same time, I think? Maybe? No? Um, but I kind of want to witness... Oh, wait, wait, come back, come back, come back, come back. No, I wanted to get in the train. I still have a chance. Yeah, I wanted to see just how fast it would go. That really did not take long. And away we go. And that's it. And I imagine... I was going to say, I imagine this one will go next, because it's, like, sort of closer. But... Since this one went last time, I'm not sure how that's how that works, actually. Yeah. Well, we're definitely not having having any trouble loading them. You must be next to the space elevator to ride it. Uh, okay. All right. So that should be uh, all conditions met to completely automate copper core fragments. Finding their way back to Hagen. Should be. Well, I guess I'll leave this stuff here for the moment. Um, I just need to switch this back on. Oh, I want to see... So far we've only got two destroyed power packs. It's going to take a while before we can see if that works, but I'm pretty sure I set it up right. Alright, so now we fly automatically back to Hagen, and once we have Ion Stream and bots are not moving, 
and copper core fragments in the spaceship equals zero, uh, that is when we will automatically take off again. How much inventory does the freighter ship have? 512 stacks. Pretty close to the maximum uh, that we can do with our 300. Um, oh, it tells you here. That's good. Yeah, the buffer warehouse costs exactly half. Um, it's stack-based, so... Yeah. Uh, it costs exactly half the number of slots it has for container stress. And then we have five from the ion fuel storage. I really like this UI showing you the calculation for the hull stress. Uh, spaceship floor it costs hull stress. Spaceship wall reduces hull stress. I'm guessing that's like, this is wall and floor, this tile here is how that works. And empty tiles give you a little bit back. 15 out of 36.4. I'm guessing that means 36.4 is our maximum for how many, how much reduced hull stress we can get. Basically it gives you, it, it, it kind of discounts hull stress for some, a little bit of empty space, up to 10% I think it is. AK90, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can't you put another accumulator on the nose? Um, no, because the accumulator costs like four hull stress, I think. Um, I had another accumulator, and then when I added this constant combinator here, it put the hull stress up to exactly 301 from 300. Um, so yeah. Accumulators or solar panels, uh, if you fill this space with that, it doesn't change the hull stress at all. It's only whether or not you've got the empty tile uh, bonus. I'm seeing zero ammo used by our gun turrets, and that's what I want to see, frankly. Cool, cool, cool. One minute fifty until we're back at Hagen. What about whole meme accumulators? Um, we have whole meme accumulators. They just look more blue than usual right now because they're discharging. Fantastic. So now I need to do a copper core fragment processing block. Um, we've already put in place the vanilla pickup station for... You know what? It actually kind of bothers me not seeing wire here. Even if we don't actually have a condition on this um, train stop. It makes me feel like I forgot it. Um, but yeah, Vanilla Train is going to pick this up here, and we're going to have, uh, just like scrap. We'll do it here, I guess. We're going to drop from... Wait, no. This is LTN into Vanilla. We've already got the Vanilla pickup. So we just need to have... Come to think of it, there's no need to do LTN for copper core fragments. Uh, for any core fragment other than the ones that we're getting on Hagen. Like, um, well, okay, put it another way. Uh, we've got, like, LTN to pick up, uh all of these core fragments because they come in by cargo landing pad and then we need to put them in the rail system. Um, but if we're already picking up from vanilla in the first place and we only have one destination for copper core fragments, 
We can just do a copper core fragment processing block on the ground that has a vanilla drop-off, right? Let's get out of here before it automatically takes off. And we can see it is taking cable and discharged power packs with it. And the moment... The bots aren't unloading that as fast as I thought they were. Oh, it's bottlenecked on the belt. Or it will be. Alright, that's fine. Uh, it's not like we can mine more than 45 copper core fragments per second, right? But then the amount of time... Our bottleneck is actually the spaceship, so the amount of time spent here is actually bottlenecking our core fragments. So I guess we could do this. Oh, that's full already? Okay, I really do think we need more belts here. Or more storage up here. For this to instantly go into. Um, I can actually squeeze this combinator in here, which means I can put a container... Give me some stuff. Should have left the core mining drills at the destination. Oh well. Um, I'll put a big container here, like four by. We'll have the small chests here so the bots have the shortest possible path. And then we'll immediately uh, put stuff into four by four container. And then just take from it. Is there a bot coming? There is. Cool. So we can fit uh, 256 plus 48 times 4. 192. Uh, 448. That is most of... A spaceship? Maybe I should have just made this a 6x6 six, uh, six six chest. Um, I guess it's probably not too late. Except I need concrete. Give me the concrete. There we go. Or the steel. Six by six chest. Um, but it's fine to bottleneck it on 45 here because we're not going to be producing 45 or fragments per second. Um, but we did kind of imbalance these. I'll fix it after this drains. Last loader is wrong, indeed. How many stacks is this? 640. So more than we brought here. We don't need to limit it as long as we split it evenly and only pick it up with a long drain. Oh, I guess I could have done this old trick with even distribution, without waiting. That's it. Should be even now. Or there might be... There was probably some stuff on the belt, so it's going to be slightly uneven. Fantastic. Alright, so we need a vanilla train. 
Um, I guess for the moment I'll just do one of these. I guess next stream will, or, or maybe off stream because it's just kind of repetitive and tedious. Um, I'll replace the vanilla trains with fast ones. Um, but suffice to say, we're going to be going up to Hagen. We'll go to the depot. I guess we don't need to wait. I was going to say we don't need to wait for inactivity, but that's where we refuel. Um, we're going to pick up Copper Core Fragment. Then we're going to go down to Hagen. Don't need to stop at the depot for this one. Wait, I think I'm doing it backward. It, yeah, it doesn't matter if we're sitting at the pickup, if this is the only copper core fragment train. Wait till full. Things will get a bit more complicated if we end up making more trains for this. Uh, I didn't mean to remove the depot. Oh god, that's a lot. Oh no. Oh no. Vanilla Depot 2. There it is. Just double check that's the name of the station here. Vanilla Depot 2. Fantastic. Uh, wait for inactivity. And then... Well, I haven't actually made the station yet. That would probably help. I'll just make a name here. Copper Core Fragment Requester. Copper Core Fragment Requester. Go there until empty. And that should be fine. Should be able to go and get the core fragments, come downstairs, go to depot, and then wait until the station exists. And let's see if we can speed design a copper core fragment block in the last few minutes for today. Uh, let's get rid of the old power poles, throw in some pylons, measure where we want our wide area beacon, grab some pulverizers, probably put them here, select copper core fragment Processing? What's this? Crushed Naquitite. Uh, we'll start with Prod 3s. So that's what we've got. And I think it's 4 efficiencies. I mean 4 speeds, the rest efficient. That is gonna be... Where's my power? Negative 70% power consumption? I can live with that. How fast is this? 24 copper core fragments per second. Uh, even though we're bottlenecked for the moment on our spaceship, I'm pretty sure. What's your problem? This train is here, that's the problem. Wait, didn't I set a train limit here? Oh. Oh, that would probably help. Uh, set train limit L. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure that'll sort itself out. Or not. 
How about you go here? And then go to that stop. And then the train will come up and go here. I believe. Or not? Oh, it's imbalanced now. Bruh. No. Okay, I'm gonna set this to... I don't know, less than 200. Just don't come up until this is, like, empty. Hello? Is this thing not named... What? Train limit one. Oh, there's a different train trying to come to this station. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky. Well, that's one way to do it. And then just skip that station. Destination full, what do you mean? This one stays at train limit zero, right? Right? I think it keeps trying to come to... It keeps saying destination full. What? Why are you like this? I think because they're both trying to go to the same train stop? Um, do we have constant combinators here? Nope. Not so lucky. Could have fixed it remotely. Hmm. I'm just going to set this to equals zero. And we'll see if when this empties they start behaving. Anyway, let's quickly finish this build. Um, okay, so we've got copper core fragments coming in at 24 per second. Now I remember why I wanted to look over here. Um, what's our what's our theoretical max rate if we're not bottlenecked on the ship? 67.8. And well, we're not gonna. We're not going to beat that. But I'm sure we can do a decent build here. We'll do the usual... Output of stone and vanilla core fragments on this side. Why is it not placing those? And the station goes here, this one goes here. That should be... Nope, that's wrong. It goes there. And there should be just enough room place our signals in the middle. We'll do the old delivery cannon trick. Limit this to exactly 50 stacks each, and that way this will act kind of like a balancer. Um, we'll have a little 2x2 two two chest. Just so we can do the inputs and outputs filtered. And what's our input rate individually? 2 per second? That's nothing. Move 
move that over at least a tile. Inserters. And output, I think loaders make sense because we've got all different types. Uh, even though it's kind of slow. I mean, each recipe spits out 16, 1, and a bit of different resources, though. What's our max rate from one column here? Uh, 25, 28 and a half. It might be over 30. Let's just do a blue belt. But yeah, just one blue belt should be enough. Should be enough. Alternatively, for the sake of symmetry, I could do it a little differently. Mm, I don't like the look of that. How about this? I could put some splitters in so that it'll scale when we add uh, faster modules and stuff. And some undergrounds, just like that. That can go there. And then... Uh, that goes there. That seems fine. Do we need the undergrounds again? Yeah, we do. And loader like so. So this goes here. That looks nice. Nice and symmetrical. And it's not super important, but could we have this line up basically with the middle? Seems good. Max rate on this side for copper core fragments is only 24. Uh, I don't think there'll be any problems if we don't merge and split. It's almost symmetrical. And I feel like this might look better, more consistent. That looks nice. Alright, let's filter out vanilla core fragments. And send them up here. Uh, and then we've got stone. And we're just going to send that over here. in the neatest way we can manage. Oh, that's good. That's perfectly in the middle, just by coincidence. Nice. And then we want... Uh, just copper to make its way down here. How much copper is this? Uh, 25 per second. I think because we're going to double it over here, I'll just do 
few belts get straight out. And we'll just limit each of these. To one cargo wagon to keep it balanced. Seems good. Alternatively, I could probably have that go straight into a chest. And then we'd have a little bit more storage and it might look nicer. Seems okay. I don't think 50 per second would be too much for the invisible inserters to keep up with. So then we're going to go with the exact same thing over here. Um, same thing on this side. Uh, we're going to have drop-off up here as well. Oops. Whoops. Seems good. Um, request threshold should be 100 stacks. I just remembered it's not going to be LTN, um, so we need some, well we don't strictly need some regular train stops, but if we're not doing LTN and I look at this and I see just vanilla train stops, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to deduce. That should line up the same way. Fantastic. And this way we can put our decider combinator here. Uh, where's my wire? There we go. Alright, if copper core fragments less than, I don't know how much, two train loads? Since we can fit two and a half train loads on one side, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, 20 times 200 is 4,000. Copper, four fragments less than 4,000. Output train limit one. And set train limit L. And this is a copper, copper core fragment requester. I guess I could add train stop to show that this is vanilla trains only. Uh, let's make it blue. To show it's a requester station. That's not requester station color. What do we got here? 0155255. Fantastic. Color of a requester chest, more or less. And we'll put this one over here for the symmetry of it. Oops. And then that should be our build. Pretty much. I like you removed the right inserters on the left side. Wait, what? Oh, whoops. Did I cut them? Okay. There we go. Has the problem with trains arriving before full loads gone away? Yeah, it seems to.
I did set the provide thresholds higher in a lot of places, but I'm not sure that's the reason. Okay. So we're going to set provide stack threshold 100. We can also read from this. And that's it. This is just copper provider. Um, but because it comes from core fragments, we're not going to have it set to encoded network ID 1. Theoretically, we, we could be overfull on copper. And the copper that comes from infinite sources, we want to be able to delete that so that we can keep breaking down copper core fragments to get vanilla core fragments and stone. Uh, so yeah. Let's make our blueprint. Upper core fragment processing. Snap to grid. And include train stop names. I'll just check the snap real quick. Seems good. Where did we put these things? Down here. Oh. Um, and let's place it probably close to the space elevator. Right? I think that makes a lot of sense for core fragment processing that comes from the elevator. Did I set the schedule? For that copper core fragment train... Uh-oh, I don't know where it is. I think it must be here. No? Where is our... Where is our new train? Um... No, really. Where's our new train? I don't know where it went. Also, our spaceship has come back and is waiting to get fully unloaded. Stone station set up? Oh, whoops. I'll place the blueprint and build it. I'll update it there. Um, actually, in the long run, that might be worse. Let's do it like this. Standard pickup. Provide stack threshold 100. Actually, this should be active pickup, high priority. Because if side products get full, then we can't keep doing this. Uh, and this is vanilla core fragment. And this is stone. All right, now I need to make the blueprint again. Copper, copper, CF, processing, eighty-six twenty-five one. Train stop names, yes, fantastic. Um, but yeah, I don't know where our new train is. In Navview, click the station, then click the planet. Then click the planet. Navview? What do you mean by... Navview? Oh, I bet... I bet we can find it this way. Uh, on Hagen. Nope. Does that find stuff that's in trains? Uh, let's stop burning fuel for a sec. We've definitely got vulcanite core fragments in a train here. Yeah, it does. So I can't find it on Hagen or in orbit. 
Which means it probably didn't pick up copper core fragments? Question mark. This is very weird. What's this guy doing? This is our this is our train. No, come back. Come back. Stop. Where are you going? No, you're going around in circles. No wonder I couldn't find you. Oh god, oh no. Where where did it go? Is it at the depth? Is this it? Okay, we found it eventually. So it's supposed to go to this station and wait for full cargo inventory after it goes up the elevator. Can it not see the station? Uh, no stops with this name exist. I beg to di- oh. Oh. No, no stops with this name exist. That, that's why. Copper core fragment pickup for vanilla trains only. Wait till full. Off you go. The train really likes to ride the elevator? Yeah, I bet we consumed a few more elevator cables in that time. Alright, so I'm thinking to the right of the space elevator, because that gives the train the shortest trip. Um, and I don't really see any urgent reason to save this space for anything else in particular. So, couple of core fragment processing. And... Maybe I should save it for, like, Naquium. Because the stack sizes are so bad. Yeah, I think we'll have some Naquium processing right here. Um, but I don't see any reason not to have copper here. Let's get our construction train to pay us a visit. Wait for inactivity. Oh, luxurious. I don't have to wait for scaffolding to be put down. Before I... Put the blueprint down properly. We might not have enough uh, pulverizers, though, in our train. We need 24 pulverizers, and I don't know if it's even carrying one. Because they're an occasional build and the stack size is terrible. So let's visit the mall and pick up pulverizers. And we needed like 20 or something. This should probably do. And in we go. We did have five pulverizers. Nice. So that should mean there's a train on the way? No? Did I not give it the proper name? on the other end either. Found it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Stop. Halt. Halt and see. Halt. Okay. Fragment. Copper requester. Vanilla style. Empty. Fantastic. Nice. And we need a vanilla train stop on this side. And that's our copper core fragments. And all is well.
Did I put filters on these? I didn't. Oh god, oh no. Um... I need to face them that way before I can put filters on them. Alright. There we go. And we already got this much copper out of it. Nice. Okay, that does a... Don't load the game. Save the game. Loading the game would be very bad right now. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be about it for today, I think. Load the game? No, load the game. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Anyone doing space exploration, perhaps? Not today, it doesn't look like. Uh, who have I not raided in a couple of minutes? Tumbling All Hell and Marky. Um. Biological Science Time in SE. There we go. I'll just make sure this is chattable and stuff. Seems good. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Looks like we had another delivery up here. Um, this side, the thing about vanilla trains is they just keep going to the closest one. So this side is going to do all the work until this manages to be saturated. Um, but I think that's probably fine. Um, our train is just going to keep uh, doing laps. If I add another copper train, a copper core fragment train, I'll have to... I'll have to add a stop at depot, and I'll have to make this one conditional to have a train limit. Uh, that's not exactly complicated. Um, but we'll see how well it keeps up for now. Uh, but yeah. Take care, Evil Pla, Johan Anderson, thanks for hanging out. And... Vrakfall as well, and everyone else. See you all tomorrow. For Terraria. Take care, guys. This be the end, indeed. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am.